my beloved child, I want you to open your heart and mind fully. Because what I'm about to say is incredibly important for you to hear. There's something you need to understand. Something that has been weighing heavily on your spirit. And it's time to address it. Someone was wrong about you. Yes, you heard me right. Someone in your life, perhaps many people, has misjudged you, misunderstood you, or made assumptions about you that are simply not true. This has caused you pain, confusion, and perhaps even self-doubt. But I'm here to tell you the truth, and I need you to hear me. First, I want you to listen closely. You are not defined by what others think of you. You are not limited by their opinions, their judgments, or their words. I know that sometimes it feels like the weight of those judgments is crushing you, like you can't escape the labels that have been placed on you. But those labels do not define you. I created you with purpose, with intention, with love. You are my masterpiece, crafted in my image, full of potential and worth that is far beyond what anyone else can see. The opinions of others may be loud, but my voice, the voice of truth, must be louder. And the truth is this, you are loved, you are valuable, you are capable, and you are enough. Those who have been wrong about you do not see the whole picture. They do not know your heart the way I do. They do not understand the journey you've been on, the battles you've fought, the growth you've achieved. They only see a fragment, a snapshot, and they form their opinions based on incomplete information. But I see everything, and I know you completely. It's time to stop letting the words of others define you. I know it's hard when those words come from people you care about or respect. I know it hurts when they seem so sure about who you are and what you're capable of. But listen to me very carefully. You are not what they say. Dear one, if you seek my blessings upon you, let your desire be known by typing, yes, I need. Your faith will open the door to my abundant grace. You are not a failure. You are not weak. You are not insignificant. You are not the mistakes you've made. You are not the negative labels they've placed on you. You are not limited by their small-mindedness or their inability to see your true worth. I need you to let go of the lies you've been told and start embracing the truth of who you really are. You are my child, and I do not make mistakes. I do not create anything that is worthless or unworthy. I have placed greatness within you, gifts, talents, and a purpose that only you can fulfill. No one else's opinion can change that. I know you've been trying to fit into the mold that others have created for you. You've been striving to meet their expectations, to prove them wrong, or maybe even to gain their approval. But my child, you don't need their approval. The only approval you need is mine, and you already have it. Listen to your heart. The place where I speak to you most clearly. Listen to the dreams I've planted there, the desires I've given you, the passions that light you up inside. These are the things that define you, not the criticism of others. The world may try to tell you who you should be, but I want you to listen to who you already are, a beloved to unique and irreplaceable part of my creation. When you focus on who I say you are, you'll find a strength and confidence that no amount of criticism can shake. You'll be able to walk in your true identity, unburdened by the false labels others have tried to place on you. I know how much it hurts to be misunderstood, to be misjudged, to have people make assumptions about you that aren't true. I see the pain that it's caused you, the way it's made you question yourself, and the way it's weighed you down. But now, my child, I'm asking you to let go of that hurt. Holding on to the pain of being wronged only keeps you tied to those who have hurt you. It gives their words power over you, and it keeps you from moving forward. I want you to release that pain into my hands. Let me take it from you. Let me heal those wounds. And let me remind you of your true worth. Forgiveness doesn't mean that what they did or said was okay. It doesn't mean you have to let them back into your life. It simply means that you are choosing to free yourself from the burden of their wrongs. 
you are choosing to move forward, to live in the freedom that I have for you, and to focus on the truth of who you are. You don't have to defend yourself against those who are wrong about you. You don't have to prove them wrong or fight to be seen and understood. I am your defender. I am the one who will vindicate you, who will bring the truth to light, who will make sure that your true character is revealed. There is a freedom that comes when you stop trying to control what others think of you. When you let go of the need to defend yourself, you make room for me to step in and do what only I can do. I see the injustice, the unfairness, the pain you've endured, and I will not let it go unnoticed. Trust me to be your advocate, to fight for you, to clear your name in ways you never could on your own. The fact that someone was wrong about you doesn't diminish the purpose I have for you. In fact, sometimes the wrongs you've experienced can be used to propel you into your purpose. The pain, the misunderstandings, the rejection, these can all be used for good. If you allow me to work in your life, listen carefully. I have a plan for you that is good, that is filled with hope and a future. No one else's opinion can change that plan. No one else's judgment can alter the course I have set for you. You are here for a reason, and I will guide you every step of the way. Even the things that have been said against you, the lies that have been spoken, can be turned into something beautiful. They can make you stronger, more compassionate, more resilient. They can give you a deeper understanding of others, and they can prepare you to fulfill the unique purpose I have given you. Being wronged by others can make you feel weak, powerless, and small. But I want you to know that you are stronger than you think. The very fact that you have endured, that you are still standing, that you are still seeking the truth, is a testament to your strength. I have placed a resilience within you, a strength that comes from me. It's a strength that cannot be taken away by the opinions of others. It's a strength that will carry you through the darkest times and bring you out on the other side stronger, wiser, and more capable than before. Listen to me, my child. You are not weak. You are not defeated. You are not broken beyond repair. You are strong, and you are becoming stronger every day. Hold on to that truth and let it empower you to keep moving forward. No matter what others may say or think, the world is full of voices loud, insistent, sometimes cruel. But amidst all those voices, there is one voice that matters more than any other. Mine. I am always speaking to you, always guiding you, always reminding you of the truth. But you must choose to listen. When you hear the voices of doubt, of criticism, of negativity, I want you to consciously choose to listen to my voice instead. My voice is the voice of truth, of love, of affirmation. My voice will never tear you down, but will always build you up. My voice will never lead you astray, but will always guide you to where you need to be. You may have been wronged, but you are not defined by those wrongs. You are defined by my love, my truth, and my purpose for your life. Listen to me, my child. Let my voice be the one that shapes your identity, that guides your decisions, that fills your heart with peace. The opinions of others may have tried to box you in, to limit you, to keep you from growing into who you were meant to be. But I want you to embrace who you are becoming. You are not the same person you were yesterday, and you will not be the same person tomorrow. You are constantly growing, evolving, and becoming more of who I created you to be. Embrace the journey. Embrace the changes. Embrace the growth. Don't let the wrongs of others hold you back or keep you stuck in a place you were never meant to stay. You are becoming something beautiful, something powerful, something that reflects my image more and more each day. Listen to the whispers of growth within you, the stirrings of change that are leading you to new heights, new opportunities, new levels of understanding and wisdom. You are on a journey, and it's a journey that is leading you to a place of greater fulfillment, greater purpose, and greater joy. Above all else, I want you to know that I am with you, 
No matter what others have said, no matter how they have wronged you, no matter how alone you may feel, I am with you. I have never left your side, and I never will. My presence is your constant companion, your source of strength, your comfort in times of trouble. When others are wrong about you, I am here to remind you of the truth. When you feel alone, I am here to surround you with my love. When you are hurt, I am here to heal your wounds. You are never alone, my child. I am with you always, even to the end of the age. Listen to me, lean on me, and know that I will carry you through whatever comes your way. So, my beloved child, listen carefully. Someone was wrong about you, but that does not define you. You are who I say you are, loved, worthy, strong, and full of purpose. Hold on to that truth and let it guide you as you move forward. Dearly loved one, allow my blessings to flow through you like a radiant light. Your super thanks offering helps illuminate the world with my message of love and salvation. By giving, you are sowing seeds of hope for many. Press the super thanks and receive my abundant blessings. My dear child, you have my full support. Of course, you will win at everything if you possess the faith and mentality of a winner. But most of all, cultivate a stronger relationship with me. I am not that kind of God who will dwell on your mistakes, nor will my love for you fade away because of your missteps. I rejoice to see you. Then, when stay within my commitments to cross the turbid rivers and the difficult marshlands, mountains, and valleys. Even if you stumble and soil your robes, you can be sure of the confidence that you give to me, your final destination, and the grace that lies beyond the very daunting hill in which you find yourself, carrying off with you the certitude of my affection and knowing I make no judgments. I am ready to wash you clean of the mud that has muddied you, for my will is that you should move forwards, unafraid and not slipping to the side. The might of my blood shall cover you and your raiment. I shall renew you. I shall wash your feet in the crystal waters of paradisal streams and feed you with ambrosial honey to give strength and refreshment to the weary soul of my hero, my warrior. I will be watchful, ready to raise you in times of triumph, to support you in times of struggles, and to shield you from strong, co fierce attacks in times of repose. Thus, thou shalt press on with life's journey, carrying thine armor of truth and thy sharp sword, my word moving with boldness yet flowing with the faith within thee. You shall master disease and financial debt, shattering the chains and bonds, breaking down the dungeons of your past once and for all. You are the one who will tear down the walls that kept you at bay. Keep yourself full of faith, my beloved child. The strength that you feel is no illusion and truly seems real. Say it every morning upon getting up, dismissing all fear and mystery looking life in the eye with clear and firm determination, assured that you are already victorious. The enemy begins to retreat from those who have the strength to persevere. And even if the person is tired, feeling weak, somehow, deep inside, in his heart, he understands that he is loved by his or her father, and he always finds the strength to overcome grief and despair. From that vantage ground, you will see the beautiful blessings I have in store for you. Therefore, I charge you again to get closer to me. Mine is a love that no person nor thing can ever break. Bring your big decisions to me for advice. Let me soothe your feelings and sift your thoughts, and I will guide your heart along the right path. Do not build actions before presenting your development and intentions to me. I am arming thee with the strength necessary to stand against manipulation and coercion into choices that lead you to a life of sorrow and bondage. Be careful who you scatter your grains of love on, those you hardly know. Listen to what the instincts are pushing for. Reminisce about your past mistakes and the feeling they brought. You lost days and precious moments of peace and love with your family by taking on responsibilities toward me that I hadn't put on you. Don't make the same mistake now that you have known my love and know that I am with you. Do not let yourself be under bondage again. I am able to deliver you from the situation, 
but it is better still not to get into one of your own making. Therefore, make good choices while keeping the interests of other people at heart. Questioning my promise or my authority, you will be playing with fire and burning yourself severely. You are a different person now. You respect and submit to me. I thus urge you to always walk circumspectly and wise. Avoid at all cost every company or business dealing with the foolish who do not regard your life or family. They will take everything you have, and they will only put you into debt or into a feeling of indebtedness. Stay away from such people. Find another way? But if you cannot find another way, you come to me. Stand silent before me. A new year is coming, and I should like this year to be a year of encouragement and joy and freedom. A whole year as though notable families were able to feel taste enough of true happiness. I don't want you to have to feel the pain of sorrow or the cruelties of those who want to enslave you. If you listen to my words, don't worry. Good things are coming, a time when you will regain what has been lost. You will see my power. Nothing is impossible for me. An awesome miracle is about to happen. Your prayers are answered. What I am preparing for you is greater than anything you can ask for. Your destiny lies solely in my hands. Let not others bring you down with negativity or doubt you. You have me, and I love you completely. Where others live in lies, you dared to believe in me. So I say to you, you will prosper where they cry out for loss and deprivation. Desolate places you'll flourish. Where most tend to give up hope, you'll do great things. Yet, in this place, God, my dear child, you will find strength, and it will drive your dreams. A new you bound for success, what was to bring you down? I, its purpose, raised you up. For today's insurmountable tasks will tomorrow bring forth testimony for faith, perseverance, commitment, and long-suffering to love. Trust in me, even when the way forward seems obscured. It doesn't matter how deep you've fallen, so deep. The deep hand is there to bring you up. Although I may stand silent, my strong hand is always there for you when you strike. My timing is always right for you. Take this opportunity to act. Much as the world is shaking with lack and rumors of war, you are under my covering. Your family is blessed by me continually. If I tell you to go forward, move forward. If I tell you to stand, then stand. If I speak victory over you, then receive it. Lay hold on my words and let go of past errors and iniquities. Forget the past. Lo, your life has been remade and reshaped anew. You are not the same. I have your future in my hand. I will tend to you in my presence. And so once more I exhort you to pray every day, coming to me without regard for feeling, with joy and faith. Even on days when you are stormy with feelings and doubts, Come to me. I love you, and I accept you just the way you are. My desire is that you take one step of faith toward me. Don't be afraid. I will help steady your emotions, fill your heart with courage, and remind you of my promises. You need me to increase your faith, and I know. I value your conversations with me, your faith in me, and your openness to share your feelings. I heard you this morning, and I heard you yesterday. Your words may be few, but what is important here is the sincerity and the intention. Nothing else is needed. Remember, faith as small as a mustard seed is enough for your prayers to reach heaven. It is there that your destiny is shaped, and from there, I send you comfort and extend my love. I am aware of your needs, and I will provide according to my plan. All my answers are for your ultimate good. Now, be still amidst fear. Recall my words when troubles come knocking, then answer them in my name, saying, God is my provider. He is my eternal Savior, and I am sure He will help me today as much as He has helped me all this time. Do not turn to the right or to the left. Consider only the goal that I have set in front of you. Do not turn your attention to distractions on either side. Keep your eyes on the goal which I have set in front of you. Today, your mind may be turning to this and that to make your thoughts futile in useless fancies. But my word is very clear, and you should read it 
and reflect on it. Then as you press on, nothing and no one will be able to lead you astray, and doubt will not be the master of your spirit. Bathe in the current of my spirit, powered by love. And as you kneel down in prayer, I will bring healing into your life providing the strength and wisdom necessary to progress. You and your family are ordained to succeed in this life, and you shall be richly blessed, living forever in my presence. Be assured that I am always listening and truly care about how you feel emotionally. My peace I leave with you. I give my peace unto thee. Receive in faith, for it is written that the peace I give is not as the world gives. I am aware of your confession, that you are in need of me. In the presence of myself, I accepted your commitment. My answer cometh. Expect it, welcome it, rejoice in the miracle I will do in you this day. Nothing is impossible unto me, as you know full well and believe. Be sure to wait and keep on believing until the moment your desired miracle manifests. I fully understand what is going on in your life. Ever since you began to seek me, I purposed to respond. Much opposition has risen against your blessing. There is warfare in heaven. Hence, you must persevere with faith and prayer. Do not allow discouragement to find room in your heart. Avoid those people who undermine your faith. Let yourself be surrounded by people who spur you to believe, strengthen you, and who will bring you closer to me. Eagerly waiting for your blessings, you know I long for you to be well guided through this difficult moment. The one thing which has been standing in front of you and continues challenging everything that concerns you, your life, and your future family. I have so many important lessons to teach you in this period. I want you to learn to trust me more and understand that I am your supplier. You must be ready to stand up with the strength I provide. Do not sit down in some corner, paralyzed by fear. All that I want from you is for you to keep moving forward while I am busy performing the miracle you petitioned. I am your shield and stronghold. Just at that moment, when the wave of unbelief dashes upon your soul, then fall upon your knees, bend that stiff neck, come to me and commit your grief into my hands. I know you are very brave at heart, but this is not a day for you to fight in. You need my help. Now. If you try to press on all by yourself and in your own strength, you will grow weary. And then what a fine prey you are to the adversary, who goes around as a roaring lion, looking for whom he might devour of those that become heedless. You'll be tempted not to pray if you become too weary and your eyes off the path. You may stumble if you don't pay attention to where you are walking, and when you fall, your enemies will surround you. They will strike the decisive blow when they see you lying on the ground and struggling for breath. They don't want you to live because they know you are a blessed person. And they are trying to get you off the path. Despond not. None can. I will reply to you with a wonder at the proper time. Only be patient, dear one, and take my hand. And thou shalt do wonders and great things. Fear not. Only believe. All things are possible to them that believe. Commit to me that trouble and concealment hidden in your heart. You are aware it's causing you harm, and if kept concealed, it could lead to your ruin. Acknowledge it. You know what I am referring to. If you are reading or hearing this, it's because I love you. Hand it over to me, and I will cast it far away. Do not seek it again. Make a firm decision today to step away from all those situations and people who drag you into bottomless confusion. They really do not love you or your family. Though they seem to love you, deep inside their hearts, they avidly wish for your bad fate. They are dream destroyers, aspiration thieves, and lovers devouring love. They will not get tired until they see you destroyed. They blind you with lies and darken your eyes to the truth, shaming you to hide from my grace and goodness. They work to lay painful secrets in your soul. Now is the time to step away and sever ties with darkness. My precious child, extend my grace by sharing this with someone who needs a reminder of my love. I died for you on the cross, and I am ready to forgive your sins. Sin concealed brings death, 
If you cover up your sins, you won't prosper, misery, no peace. That is not the life I would want for you. I came so you might have a life overflowing in joy without resentment, bitterness, and harmful emotions. Your mind shall be clear of junk, and groundless fears or relentless anxiety will not trouble you. Take off your shoes, for you are on holy ground. You cannot enter the promised land with secrets. Come and share with me. I am waiting on your courage to speak. I will exchange your shame with my holiness. Today, more than any other day in history, you are closer to me than you have ever been. You may have hidden from me, but I am here. You can't avoid my presence anywhere in creation. Wherever you are, there I shall be, to remind you of my pledge. If you turn away from evil and repent, you are forgiven. Take this forgiveness upon you in the robe of salvation. This is your day of deliverance. Declare that you believe and accept. The troublesome times are ending. Days of sadness are almost over. When your blessings come, remember that they are from my love. I have been watching over you in the middle of strife. I was your provider in the desert. On this day, as you read these words, renew your faith. Replenish your mind anew with powerful words. Let your faith be alive and fervent, so that when abundance comes, then you will not forget me, your God and Lord. Well, keep praying, for indeed so much in the spiritual world is unseen. The battle is on. I will bless you, however, you must know you are to meet opposition. Your victory lies in your faith, persistence, and dedication to prayer. Be in quest of me all the time, morning and evening. Commit to intercession. Times are changing, and my eyes are upon the earth. I am in search of brave warriors like you. I will do incredible miracles through you and in you to feed many, to clothe many, to comfort many, to heal many, and to bless many. You will be consecrated with an overflowing measure of blessing as you bless others in this time of miracles. Stand strong. Release those things that weigh you down, chase, and pursue my presence. Restore your faith anew. Be certain that I love you. Turn not away when I speak kind words to you or turn your back when I gently call. Cling closer in my love when I correct you firmly. You know I love you. Promise me one thing. You won't get mad if your prayers aren't answered immediately. Be aware that many are watching for your faults, ready to ridicule your faith when prayers seem unanswered. My dear child, you are not on the same level with those who mock and scoff. Your focus is on higher, heavenly matters. Let the mockers wander aimless without goals or dreams, merely drifting with the wind. They are consumed by pride and envy, leading to despair. But, my child, you do through prayer have access to me directly, and I will most definitely answer. They who mock shall be shamed when they realize their mistakes. I have a special blessing for you. If it hasn't arrived yet, it is because I am working on your heart. For if it isn't grounded properly, a person can fall, unable to handle and appreciate their blessings. Then abundance may lead to arrogance, and one can easily fall into the enemy's trap. Thus, be prepared, firm, brave, and well-rooted in my word. Have my love, wisdom, and prudence as a strong foundation. Never hide from your mockers or think about yourself as a soul worth nothing. It is a day-to-day -day mental fight, but I will make you strong. We stride together, day and night, talking about your plans in the morning and at night, your fears and your dreams. Believe in me, never lose hope. Accept my love, feel your worth. For too well do I know self-deprecation wounds me. You will overcome. Believe in my love towards you. Even if you stumble, I shall never leave you. This is for my warriors. Listen, if you feel you are one, don't dismiss my word or use your age, health, or finances as excuses. To all of my warriors ready to trust in my word, I will clear their paths and open doors supernaturally. You are my chosen son or daughter. I am preparing you to succeed. In doubt, hold fast to hope in my promises. Believe in full measure, because I will accomplish my will in your life 
and much good is going to come to you. It calls the critical point in your life to be filled with strength, firm faith, and courage. Do not be scared to confront financial matters or health problems coming up in your life or in your family. I can divide your sea of conflict and prepare a path of the way forward for solutions. If you will only hearken unto my word, which I shall command you to endure and not slacken your pace, then you shall stride over deep chasms and shall tread in pathway upon waves, yet tempests shall not engulf you. Dear warrior, your joy and benediction are within my hands. Be strengthened at each step. Face the enemy with solid faith, and know that even in tough conflicts and needs, I will rescue you at the perfect time. Your enemies will flee at the fearless stand seen in your face. Today, I give you a holy sword, the power of my word in your wise speech. Your obedience and faith lead. My power backs you to face fears. My warrior, you are so dear to me. Now, take your family's hand and, with faith and hope, go in through the door of your blessing. Leave your problems with me. Only just have faith. And let me take care of impossible situations. Trust wholly. And don't try to work things out your way. Pressure can sometimes mislead your feelings. Mistakes happen with hurried decisions. Today, the very best thing you can do is to be still in my presence. With my hands upon your head, I shall anoint you with peace and fill you with hope, tranquility, and rest. Your countenance will reflect forbearance, determination, confidence, and boldness. Enemies are not going to see someone who is paralyzed with fear or defeated in their sight. My Holy Spirit alive in your life is your answer and deliverance. You will see more if you open your heart toward me, turn your back on evil, and truly give me preeminence, and let me make you a different person. I'll empower you to boldly meet those challenges. Shyness will flee, and in its stead of it, in you, will come up the heart of a champion, the victorious, mighty, full of faith unwavering. You shall be victorious over your problems. Your victory was won many thousands of years ago. Today, you have only to grasp it by unwavering faith. Hold my word in your hand and my promises in your mind. Keep your eyes fixed on the prize for which you contend, and spend yourself liberally in zeal. You are not striving for the applause of men. You struggle to continue reaping spiritual harvests. And this combat, unlike that of those most bewitched by fancy who beat the air, is yours, a real battle. Take this seriously. While others remain stuck in the same place, falling into the pits they have dug for themselves, you charge straight into the heart of the storm. There, with sword in one hand and banner in the other, you stand tall, you come for victory, and that storm will not turn you away. You set your banner in the conquered land and press on. I know why I encourage you to stand before your enemies boldly. It is because you are behind my support, and I will save you from hurt and ruin. Your successes are not just by your might. You have overcome time and again, knowing that I have been to you a shield and strength. You cried out to me, and I answered. It was your weakest times, when you were sinking into the pit of despair, that I lifted my hand and pulled you out of it. You are alive and in good health now, and what is trying to weigh you down shall be a thing of the past soon enough. They who mocked you shall be put to shame, ashamed, because no man can stand in the way of my blessings toward you. I cover you under my holy mantle. My shield is over you. My warrior angels stand around you with swords drawn, ready to defend any hurt. Your tomorrow is entirely in my hands and no one else's. I am your almighty and sovereign God who loves you with an everlasting, patient, tender love. And I am dedicated to seeing that my purpose is done in your life. You reassure me now that you will simply trust in me and not be discouraged by reports or what men bring. Those words shall vanish like the wind, and their sorrow shall not be. You won't fall into despair because you will feel my love. Open your heart to me. Shut your ears from those who wish to take charge of your fate. I am telling my love to you in every moment, 
filling you with courage and security so that nothing that others say shakes you. Before you listen to those bad voices, remember that I know your true self, your caring heart, and my special purpose for you. I have given you a caring family and others who believe in you. Invest your time in studying me, in serving me, taking care of your loved ones, reaching out to those who need your care. I can use you to bless your community around you by being light for justice and righteousness. You will inspire others to follow my ways. Thus, I am empowering you to have the fortitude for you to become a channel of blessings. Through you, I am going to work the most extraordinary miracles. Promise that you will not be afraid of anything or anybody. If I am going to promise to you, then all shall be well. Trust me. Your strength will be wasted on thinking of things you have already surrendered to me. You have placed your hand in mine. Now let me lead you to peaceful places. For it is my desire that none of you lack anything. It is my desire that your soul be filled with divine love and gentleness. Do not fear for the shaking that may come. For you shall stand firm, and I will be holding you. And so I speak to your heart now, beloved, for I know the weakness that seeps in. Sit at my feet a while. Do not worry about what the morrow will bring, nor fret over the state of the world. Instead, focus on what truly matters in your life, your family, your spiritual growth, how you can enrich your life with my teachings, and the beauty of prayer. Be gentle with others. Forgive those who offend you, even though they may treat you harshly. Though they strike you again out of love, Turn the other cheek and show them how much you have loved. While I sacrificed my life for my children, you are also prepared to go to any extent that your family may come to know me and be freed. While the world is busy battling and speaking of war, you did not stop praying. Write down the names of your family members in your prayer journal. I know about their lives and thoughts. What I want is for you to exercise your faith in praying for what really matters. Precious child, if my words have touched you, let your heart respond by liking this message, for I am with you always. Those signs you will not fear before peoples, because, while the others quake in fear, you and your family must not. I, admittedly, will not leave you. And prepare for it. For while the rest shake in their boots, you will see wondrous miracles. The trumpets call and the hour of your freedom is at hand. But now, pray, trust, live, and do not fear for the morrow, because I am reliable to be true. With me, indeed, nothing is impossible. I cherish your declarations of love. With me, nothing is impossible. My love heals you. My affection soothes you. My hand supports, guides, and raises you. My presence envelops you and my Holy Spirit fills you, immerses you in a river of pure, clear waters. You have not felt so happy, so protected, love-filled for a very long time. The period of your fighting and loneliness, feeling thrown away and abandoned, is over. You will soon forget these hard times. As of this day, my promises will always be upon your lips. If you ever feel lonely, you'll speak of my constant company. When exhausted and heavy laden, you'll come for my consolation. I remind you, as your shepherd, I will see that your needs are satisfied. I possess the perfect supply for all your necessities. I am that way to your rescue, where divine power takes away fear from your life. I am planting your roots by the river of life and your fruits in your family and many others. If you are looking for something real and eternal, real love, I am here. When overwhelmed with unexplained sorrow, find solace in my love. You have no alternative. Any others can give you love at times, but always conditionally, wanting more, pretending to be patient and friendly. They promise you joy, but leave when you have no more to give. No one in this world will be able to give you what you desire. Love, peace, healing, unwavering faithfulness. Come and get it today. Freely receive this blessing. It's not for sale. I don't want your money. I desire your heart, faith, yielding, 
and a willingness to put what lies behind you behind. Stretch your faith to a hopeful future. Wait in patience and affirm with your own lips. I will believe, with my whole heart, everything you say to me. Now I, my soulmate, turn to you, acquiring your faith. So ready for an answering influx of blessings I am about to bestow on you. Amen. This day, I invite you to be with me for a while, my darling. Take my outstretched hand and be free from sorrows and from the fetters which have bound you so long. I am taking you from darkness into my marvelous light. I am your deliverer, and I set you free, because I see the weights that have bowed your head low these many years. The abandonment that swept its cruel tide over your heart again and again, wasting away fragile foundations of trust and leaving you afraid to hope. It bruised you, my child, it left you clinging to its shadows, seeking desperately to find permanent anchorage for your storm-tossed soul. I can already feel how rejection stung you, how its poison wormed into your mind, distorting your perceptions of self and others. These insidious lies wore deep grooves in your thinking until you almost believed the deceiver himself, that you were unlovable, unwanted. You worked under misbegotten notions that something was inherently wrong with you, something that repelled people and left you perpetually on the outside looking in. Oh, my dearest child, how have I sorrowed to see this assault upon your true identity, which I so lovingly formed. No more. Today I break your chains as they were made of glass and set you free. I, the Lord your God, speak your freedom out of everything that has tormented and bound you. I blot out the bill of accusations that stood against you. I annul every contract you ever made with destruction. No more shall this orphan spirit of rejection claim squatter's rights in your heart and mind. Eviction notices have been served, and the usurper's time is up. Behold, I am making all things new for you today, my beloved. A fresh start, clean slate, and a destiny replete with purpose and unspeakable joy. Take my hand now. Do not look back to dreary tumors where parts of you had been buried. Let the dead bury the dead. Gaze ahead instead to verdant landscapes blooming with promise and life. Everlasting rivers of delight sparkle before you. Trees of healing and provision rustle beside restful waters. And my goodness and mercy follow you all the days of your life as you walk freed from shackles, bathed in favor and purpose. This is the heritage that I have bought for you, my dear one. Now come and claim it. For years you faced slammed doors and cold shoulders, but you will never experience abandonment from my hand. Did not I say that I will never leave thee nor forsake thee? Though earthly loves may prove untrue and human comforters unfaithful, yet I abide faithful forevermore. My friendship shall not fail, my love will not wax cold. This trembling heart of thine mayst thou confidently deposit in mine. Commit now thy heart unto me, come. Let me engraft it unto my unchanging, nourishing love, that thou mayst be healed. Cruelly carved out, the rejection of the void my tenderness shall fill. That which pierced in your soul I shall heal shut through the power of my unconditional love for you. The questions echoing through wounded places, is something wrong with me? My spirit's whispers shall counter, you are marvelously made in my image. You are my precious treasure. You could not be more loved. You will no longer feel the cutting of rejection as I clasp your hand in mine, knitting our hearts firm. You belong to me now, and my friendship fulfills you as nothing else can. At last, addiction breaks its strangulating hold on your mind, its hellish reign is ended. Freedom comes flooding into your soul, washing you clean. I break this Pharaoh's yoke from off your neck. No more bricks without straw, no more striving in vain in this bitter bondage. Child, lift thine eyes to mine, steady, sparkling with pride and delight over thee. I believe in thee, my champion. My power works in you. The greatest version of yourself shall rise victorious. The siren call of sin, hollow, mute, falls before my warrior song. Melodies of hope, healing, purpose, course through you, bubbling up through your lungs. The rhythms of eternity, 
All the while, toxic messengers whisper sinister doubts and drag you backward into old ruts. I declare this beloved treasure belongs to me. Be gone from here at once. This child wears my royal robes now, my golden crown. We walk together into destiny and delightful adventure. Your insidious calls drop impotent to the ground, while my love lifts you higher still. On eagle's wings you shall run and not grow weary, walk and not faint. So come away with me now into freedom, overcoming one. Leave behind the baggage which has weighed down your feet for far too long. I carry your burdens now. The future calls you onward to life and satisfaction beyond all that you have asked or even imagined. Continue looking to me as your truest companion. I know every winding bend along this journey. Dangers flee at the pressure of my approaching footsteps. My whisperers stir courage and vision within you. Whenever you are weary, I swear I will not desert you. Nothing could curtail my kindled affection. You can trust my friendship to inspire and cheer you throughout all the days of your life. When stony trials test you, it is again revived with my living waters. I am turning rivers in your deserts, fountains in your wastelands. What once lay all dull and dormant now overflows with fruitfulness because of my presence. I breathe my soul into thee, at my hands take thou in deep drafts of mine essence at this hour. Set thy face as flint, unmoved by lurking shadows and siren songs behind. Look thou to me alone, and I will lead thee into the most marvelous adventures. Yonder lies the past, mute, pale, and impotent, the curtains drawn about its mysteries. What power I waken within thee this day? For within you, beloved one, I see the gifts that lie deep in your soul, radiant creativity, profound wisdom, shepherd's compassionate heart. Such are the treasures held within. Treasures like these lie within you. Gems and veins of gold, waiting for my mining to bring their riches to light. Deeper than any truth, most poignant song and, and most powerful story percolate within you just beneath the surface. And now, do you begin to glimpse your potent value, beloved? Can you see how you shine and glisten with my glory? As I set you free from rejection today, See how you glow with my joyful pleasure over you. There is no more need to shrink or hide anymore. You've got nothing to be ashamed of from which to cower in fear. I know you and love you now. Lift high your head and pour out the gifts that are inside before multitudes. My son, in whom I am well pleased, hear this ringing declaration, resounding through realms seen and unseen silencing the cruel taunts that long screamed condemning lies into your ears. Every foul tormenting messenger now scatters before my angel armies, rallying around you. You are dignified with my honor and clothed in my righteousness. Indeed, with such royal robes and radiant jewels, you are now dressed as you walk with me hand in hand into destiny. Upon your heart, I have set my affection like a seal. You have captured my gaze, uh, beloved, and it shall not turn away. My beloved child, join our family of faith by subscribing, so you may receive more words of comfort and inspiration that I have prepared just for you. My eyes never depart from you, beloved, for I know the years of isolation, obsessing with inward things, have etched deep ruts in your mind. But now I wash through your thoughts with kingdom perspectives, renewing and lifting you up. The small things that absorbed my people shrink into proper size before the heaven's realities, now awakening in your understanding. Wherever your eyes rest upon me, even the mundane shadows flee before my glorious light, and stagnant places break into life-giving motion. Finally, the networks and connections I am weaving together around you resemble none of those unsupportive systems from your past. Now, dear heart, stretch out your hands in expectancy. For I am weaving living water communities where every strand shall lift up the others into their highest callings. Like iron sharpening iron, you will stir one another in feeding forth candor and wisdom. You shall raise banners of unity, rings of prayer surrounding families, cities, and nations as fervent blessing flows freely through each member joined in me. Every gift will magnify others ten, zero, zero, zero fold. Weaknesses all transform into conduits of supernatural grace. 
This is the fellowship I lovingly architect just for you. Its foundations of loyalty, honor, and nurture shall never crack or crumble. No more sandy shores washed by the ebbing tides, now bedrock of ages upholds you. Settle into this pleasant land with me, beloved. Does that thrill your soul, my child? Hope and fulfillment stir to life deep inside. Well, the past just sort of fades smaller and smaller behind us as I lead you into vast lands of promise and joy. Look no more behind you, beloved, for it's only glorious things that await you now. I have seen your struggles, and I want you to find peace. You have looked so long to earthly things, substances to numb the pain, food to fill the voids within. My heart breaks as I see you caught in cycles of addiction, a little more of yourself lost every day. Not anymore. Today is a new beginning. I break every chain off you and set you free. No more will cravings and torment drag you back into those same old patterns. I silence the spirits at your side speaking, just one more time. You shall walk with me and find true freedom. I know that the pullback is tough, that the world has fleeting escapes, and I ask you just to turn around, face life boldly. Yet I will give you strength, wisdom, and wisdom to stand firm. Surround yourself in my truth, and soak in grace and liberty that I have given you. Keep your eyes on me as you walk one step forward at a time. The road ahead isn't going to be easy, but I'll light the way. You'll stumble sometimes, but I'll put you back on your feet. You weren't made for the temptations of the world. You were made for so much more. I have fantastic adventures in store for you, my dear child. Adventures brimming with meaning, influence, and joy beyond anything you could ever imagine. So, now, without those habits, leave behind what has enslaved you looking over your shoulder, longing, eyes front, focused on me. Together we will move mountains. In the past, your heart has led you down painful roads. You settled for less than my best, chasing fleeting affection, compromising your values. I weep with you over the hurt this has caused. A new season now breaks, a time to know love as I purposed it. First, learn to love yourself, see your worth as I see you. My child, you are fearfully and wonderfully made, treasured, valued, and adored beyond measure. Any voice to the contrary does not come from me but from the adversary. Rebuke such lies. You are beautiful, talented, overflowing with divine potential. How I beam with pride over what a remarkable person you are becoming. Now let these truths sink deep into your spirit. Only in loving yourself will you truly love another. Those who belittle you, control you, dismiss your needs, or fail to honor this temple I've given you, do not reflect my heart. Walk away from anyone stirring up confusion, anxiety, or guilt. Your joy and your freedom are important to me. Watch instead for someone who celebrates the real you, somebody committed to growth and integrity, somebody who fans your dreams into flame. This love will empower you, not weaken you. It will bring peace, not drama. I have incredible blessings in store once you break free from past cycles and align your relationships with my will. I know sometimes the waiting hurts and it's lonely, so don't settle out of fear or impatience. Stay close to me on and trust my timing. For now, pour your energy into what I've put within you as passions. Offer that in the investment into family, friendship, and serving those around you in your community. Be whole within so you can offer that wholeness to another. My dear child, I am right here walking with you through this journey of renewal. Sometimes it feels overwhelming, but take heart, hand in hand. We will transform your life into a beautiful masterpiece. Come sit with me a while if doubt, anxiety, or despair creep in. Let my presence wash over you until peace returns. I will never leave you stranded or ill-equipped. My grace is sufficient for every battle. My strength is made perfect in weakness. Call on me, and I will answer. And finally, remember that progress, not perfection, is the objective. Growth occurs one small step at a time. So when you stumble, and you will stumble, get back up. 
leave the past behind, and keep striving forward. I forgive you, now forgive yourself. My mercy has no limits. Let this knowledge free you from the prison of guilt and shame. We can again take up where we left off, rejoicing and in anticipation. Because I know that triumph is sure, so I rejoice in you, my darling. And when the going gets tough and nothing much seems to come of it, you are always apple of my eye. I love you for what you are, pure and true. In all our moments together, every step bestride with grace. But if the feeling persists, you will never be alone. I will be your constant companion, filling your heart with comfort and care. You can talk to me anytime about anything that is on your mind and heart. Share your dreams, fears, questions, struggles, every part of yourself. Safe in my arms, lay down the walls that hide you, so true intimacy may bloom between us. I loved you before you were born and shall love you throughout all eternity. No one knows you like I do, and none desires more joy in your life. I will listen to every word without judgment, speak healing to your soul, and stand with you in every step of this journey. I will release restoration, breakthrough, and such blessings that you cannot imagine. Only draw near to me, child, and watch, amazed, as grace transforms each of the broken places into something beautiful. The chains that once bound you shall serve as testimonies of my redeeming love. Yes, I have seen your wrestlings, the temptations that beckon, the relationships which seek to turn you aside. To you I say, flee these things. Do not look back, do not turn around and return to that life from which I delivered you. Too long have you tarried in the darkness, bound by those shackles of sin. But did I not strike your oppressors with blindness? open the way for your flight? Yes, it was I who brought you out, I who led you forward with my powerful hand. Do not doubt that I am wishing for what is good for you, my dear, yet you vacillate, looking back upon the life left behind. I beg of you and do not be tempted. Keep your eyes up ahead on the destiny I have prepared for you, for there are mountains to come, high places in which you will soar with me, as upon an eagle's wings. The past, regret, sorrow, and chains of iniquity now turn your back on. For your future glory far outweighs any momentary lustful pleasure. The sudden disobedience of Lot's wife met with terrible judgment. Indeed, she had been delivered but still remained in the unrighteousness of Sodom. How tightly her heart clung to its comforts and lusts, even as judgment rained down. Now I'm warning you, that which has held you captive still now seeks to bind you in its snare but will you listen this time and obey will you trust my power to transform you entirely while walking with me into liberty i tell you truly unless your heart is free of the bondage of yesterday all my efforts at liberation have been in vain or put it this way emancipated unto appearances yet still enslaved at heart is that not a pitiful fate yea Heed my admonition offered in love. For just as Lot's daughters were delivered from Sodom outwardly, but bore Sodom's depravity in their souls, so you, too, can escape one manifestation of sin only to fall into another. Immorality breeds only more immorality in an unending cycle unless your mind is renewed and your inner being washed clean. Then, and only then, will my deliverance produce lasting fruit within you. Come, therefore, to the open arms of your Father. Do not fear bringing your pain, your questions, and your struggles to me. Lay them at my feet, for in return will come joy and peace. Let me lift you up to the heights of walking that you were created for. For I, indeed, do not delight in seeing my beloved wallowing in the mire and chains of the tactics of the adversary. For the pleasures of sin endure but for a moment compared with the reward that will come from walking with me. Therefore, Clay, let me now remold you, this vessel of honor, and let me polish your facets until my glory streams from it, most brilliant and undimmed. Dear one, let there be within you a new story, which I yearn and ache to write across the pages of your life, one of freedom, purpose, 
and closeness with me like none other this world has to offer. Indeed, I know the thoughts I think toward you, says the Lord, thoughts of good and not evil, to give you a future and a hope. Trust in my thoughts. Lean into my embrace, take refuge under my wings, for storms will surely come. The forces of the darkness are not going to let go so easily, yet have I not already manifested my power to save? How many times have I kept and directed thy steps, yet still thou questions, still thou strives under thine own strength? Where will you finally learn from me the greatest reward comes from true rest? I have called you, not for endless toil without my presence. Come now, and learn in the shelter of your Maker. Fruitless striving here ceases, burdens lift, and peace pervades. You will know specifically here how to walk out my purposes, the vision to see the world as I created it. Here you become whole, all brokenness healed, my perfection in place of your deficiencies. Now do you see what a wonderful gift that I offer you today? Then come, take your rightful place by my side. No more aimless wandering for you, my beloved. Your values and priorities are aligned now with my kingdom, not the fleeting kingdoms of this world. No more shall the vain pursuits of man turn you away from me. Your ears attuned to the whispers of my spirit, your heart forever bound to mine in a love no force can break. You shall be called mine, joyfully obedient to the governance of your Lord forevermore. For did I not buy your freedom at highest cost, that you might walk in liberty and truth? Then enter fully into an abundant life of my design. Beloved, share this message with a heart that is struggling, and let my words bring them hope and healing. For the path of righteousness, only upward-looking, is narrow. Do not, then, be afraid of the sorrows and trials in the way. I go before you to make the crooked places straight. I am surrounding you at all times, my shield from the wiles of the wicked one. You will succeed, my child, for it is spoken. I am going to be a waymaker toward your destiny, and what I promised, I will bring to completion without fail. So lift up now, dearly beloved, your eyes, and look at the horizon as a new dawn breaks and shadows flee in an uncontrolled manner. And there, on your path, my glory shall light it up, every step lit by my presence within you. Yes. Extravagant is my love poured out for you, poured through you. Out of your innermost being flow rivers of living water. Freely receive that you may freely give to this world parched for lack of truth. Go now in boldness and declare the freedom I grant. See the captives delivered, even as I have delivered you. The mountains await, high places with me, no more holding back in fear. Nay, ah, beloved. Every moment overflows with countless ways to join me in restoring what sin has ruined. That glorious day of deliverance approaches so swiftly. Already now, the early showers of blessing start to swell and fill across the earth. Sweet fruit for dry souls to feast upon. Righteousness bursts forth, green and luxuriant, wherever grace takes root. The deserts become as rich habitations, nourishing food for the dwellers within. Crystal clear streams run into arid deserts, giving life and health wherever they flow. So, too, shall you channel rivers of living water to all who cross your path, given freely and in lavish supply from my Spirit, who will make his home within you. Never be concerned about the well running dry, for mine are reserves which cannot be exhausted. Drink deep daily from this tide that overflows. Let its current carry you into breathtaking adventures with your God, then waves of my love will crash over you, plunging you deeper still into my embrace. At this point, you'll surface, dripping with grace and power not your own. For my power infuses all who yield themselves fully to my purposes. Yes, my power working through common souls accomplishes the extraordinary. Has not my faithful remnant of old led my glory to carry my glory unveiled before kings and commoners alike? So, now, you shall bear the light of my presence into palaces and hearts across every sphere of influence. No location lies outside my jurisdiction, no heart. Light breaks into darkness, displacing it totally, no crevice untouched. 
I charge thee, therefore, blaze my glory, undeterred, unintimidated by the forces fighting for control. Not all will accept your message gladly, for love's penetrating gaze exposes festering darkness. Yet speak and demonstrate my truth graciously, gently, to all. Dislodge assumptions, shatter barriers, tear down cultural idolatries by the brilliance of my love on display through your words, actions, and lifestyle. Yes, the most convincing testimony broadcasts its message loud and clear through life poured out for others. Hearts are softened, visibly manifested with changed attitudes, priorities now aligned with my kingdom values. The lost catch glimpses of shards of eternity planted in their souls. Desire is born for more, more grace, more intimacy, more surrender to this benevolent king. In this new freedom you, my child, Find richness in a life walked in tandem with me. Where once lay desolation and despair, a garden of abundant life now springs forth. I am the soul's gardener, tilling lands that were otherwise bare, planting seeds of hope, faith, and love that shall bear fruit in due season. And with every step forward you take, there will be challenges, but they are no longer insuperable barriers. They are an opportunity for growth, to bring to light those strengths I have placed within you. In your weakness, my power is made perfect. Your uncertainty lights up my wisdom. You are not walking this way for yourself. My presence shall be your continual beacon in life. And as you walk, the pains and failures of the past, laying all about, will try to snare. But remember that I have called you by name. You are mine. Those old identities, those lies that sought to define you no longer have any hold on you. You are a new creation, transformed in my image and shining with my glory. Release the fear of the unknown, and with an open heart embrace the adventures ahead, knowing I am with you, leading you into experiences that will shape and refine you. Your story is one of redemption, an example of my never-give-up love and grace. So tell it boldly, for in your story, others will find hope and the courage to seek their freedom. And as you walk in this newness of life, remember I haven't called you to solitary journeying. Community's power is one I designed. Get connected with fellow believers who will motivate you, pray with you, and journey with you. Together, you will strengthen each other and become the body of Christ. Your particular gifts and life experiences are of incalculable value to this community. Share them generously. For in giving you receive, in serving you are served. And when you have doubts or are tired, come to me. Rest in my arms, my yoke is easy and my burden is light. And I will refresh your soul and renew your strength. You shall mount with wings like the eagle, and with a life full of difficulties be equipped and empowered by my spirit. As you grow in faith, become the hope that others can look to and see your light shining brightly so that it may shine to give the path for them who are still walking in darkness. Your life, reborn in my love, shall be witness living to my power and to my mercy. Seek out the lost, the broken, the downtrodden, and show them how to come to me, their source of true life and eternal joy. Treat each new day as a gift, an opportunity to live out my purposes for you. Walk with integrity and truth in the security of my word. Let your words and actions be a reflection of my character, drawing others to me through your love and compassion. As you journey with me, know that I am shaping you into a vessel of honor fit for my use. You are being prepared for greater works, for a destiny which far exceeds your wildest dreams. Trust in my timing, for it is perfect. The plans I have for you are plans to prosper you and not to harm you. Plans to give you hope and a future. Well, my child, go ahead into this new chapter of your life with a joyful heart and feet that are ready to lead. Be no longer identified by your past, but by the future I have set before you. Walk boldly in the freedom that I have given, living each day as a witness to my endless love and boundless grace. For all of life's purpose, passion, and peace are stored up in me. And if the world upon you presses, crushed by all that would devour, remember this, 
my steadfast love is your refuge. Stretch your tired hands toward the sky and be comforted by my everlasting arms. But while you feel deserted by everybody, know my love to be a perpetual presence, a gleam of light amidst darkness. Human affection, sweet as it is, is momentary in its essence, whereas divine love is an eternal spring, continuous and pure. Commit thy heart unto me, for I am the only one who shall never desert thee, never stop loving thee. And your hope is right here, the prayer for peace that you sent. Be it a time of refreshment or one of endless labor, know this, in my arms you are safe, and I, with my powerful hand, shall be your guide along the way, sparing you the cruelties of this world. Yes, remember, you are not abandoned, you are not forsaken. My love, the deepest and most beautiful of all, stays with you when those closest to you turn away. It truly is a wonderful thing to be loved by your Heavenly Father. These words are the food your soul longs for. Man does not live on bread alone, but on every word that comes from my heart. Today, I leave with you peace, much encouragement, tranquility, and trust. I leave with you my peace. I give it to you. It is my gift. So take this gift, for the world cannot give the love and peace that I give. Open your heart to receive it this very day. The trials that you face today are nothing in comparison with the glorious and divine blessings I am preparing for you. A new chapter unfolds before each of us, in which our struggles and pains will be over. So many storms have been braved, so many tears cried, but my enduring love has been your stronghold. As you read these words now, know somewhere deep down that it is no accident that you encountered them. Your life's purpose stands steadfast, lucid, even in your fears and anxieties. Sorrow can be transitioned to joy. My comfort and grace instill hope within you. My love has filled your heart with peace. You are meant not just to exist but to live victoriously, as is my desire for you. Square your shoulders and let the past be. Move forward and embrace every opportunity I set before you. The blessings I bless you with shall not bring you misery. The prosperity I provide shall not make you into a slave. The abundance I bring into your life shall not bring you sorrow. Look ahead. See what is in front of you. Tune out the clutter and the critics, the cynics and the scoffers. Their bad attitude is crafted to rattle your faith. My words are full of promises that you are to remember and hold in your heart. If you doubt my message, you will only give discouragement and weakness to your life. Believe with all confidence that though the storms and trials are about you, my love for you has no limits. I am your strength and your stay. Many of the cares that plague your mind will soon disappear. You will experience in person that my love for you is boundless. I look down into the depths of your heart. I know it will not succumb to doubt. And, when it does, get on your knees and cry out to me for help. Come confirm your belief in my love. Let us talk about those feelings that weigh you down, what burdens you have borne for so long, the emotions you have suppressed. Speak to me without fear or shame, and be open. Dear one, let your soul glow with the brightness of my love. By giving through the super thanks, you help to magnify my message and bring it to those in need. Together, we are building a brighter future. Press the super thanks and watch as my blessings pour into your life. I know you more than you can imagine. Your secrets are safe with me. Would you like to talk today? Do not be afraid of the opportunity to live in real freedom today, to experience the joy that only a light heart can know. You cannot continue to bear such heavy burdens. Cast off bitterness. My deep love for you can stop your painful past, completely heal inner wounds, shift your beliefs and thoughts, and give you strength and everlasting joy. You have to reflect and realize that you don't hear me by accident. You have to hold on to life, dear. You must forgive yourself and give yourself the opportunity, for I also am extending my forgiveness. I am unlocking the doors to goodness and prosperity. But you have to believe. What's hurting you today? What's causing you pain? 
Please realize you cannot continue based on your own strength. Don't look to people or to the things in this world for your solution or your answer. You need a supernatural miracle, and it can only come when you bow at my feet. And don't you let me forget, get me sidetracked, I don't want to wander stray. Oh no, that you weren't born to live in sorrow, born in bondage. You can't settle for just existing, but no, you need overflowing. Yes, today, I will heal you. Today, I lift you from the pit of solitude. Open your heart, accept, receive, and embrace this blessing. Prepare yourself to live enveloped by my love and grace with courage. I have bestowed upon you faith, strength, fortitude, and perseverance to move mountains, to triumph over every challenge. You can emerge victorious in all the battles you fight. You believe in, serve, and love a real, almighty, supernatural God. So I want to hear now. Tell me that you feel it. Speak to me. Tell me that you believe in me. Now rise and live your life with joy. Put into practice these words that you hear and read today. For I have many plans for you. I was always with you. Even in that time of your life when you considered that I had forsaken you, I was next to you. I shielded you from numerous perils, many hidden snares, from many enemies who had intentions about you. Those were against you, with the purpose of hurting you, resting this wonderful life that I was preparing for you. The best decision you made was when, owing to so much battering and the feeling that all of life had gone out of you and you were willing to give up the ghost, you decided to seek me, hand in hand with me. You regained your enthusiasm to fight some more and live some more. Your faith has grown mature over these past years, and you finally realize that in meeting trials, the best thing and behavior is to remain calm and wait on my word. I bless your boldness in asking for what you need, knowing I truly love you and can provide for your life. So I will open to you many things that will shortly come to pass. And by opening the doors and guiding you in the way of blessing, you will be able to walk in it with new might. I will share so many secrets written since the beginning of time, so that you may be well informed about the new blessings I am going to send when it's time. Because you have been faithful in little, I will set you in the midst of your need. You were deeply grateful, and for that reason I am going to bless life abundantly with the gifts I chose for you. Now remain humbled and devoted, too. Do not forget where I have taken you from. Bring all the glory and praise to me at your feet as you step into the promised land, which I won for you through my blood. Prepare yourself, soon you are going to see it. I love you, and to you. I offer my highest love, which will provide you entirely with protection in your bright future, filled with blessings and joy. It is love that wraps around and changes you, protects from evil, hugging you tenderly with protection. This love chose me at the beginning of times, caressed my brow from the moment that I saw the light, guided me since childhood. You deserve love. I have now ratified mine for you. But if you find yourself hating me, never forget no one on earth has loved you as I do. I wish to speak to you, to open up your heart and bless you. When first light of daybreak touches your loving face, it's my love reaching out to you in divine protection. Let not any try and take from you the things I've placed within your being. Don't let their faces drop if one of them says to you, you are going to get nothing from me because you are undeserving or unworthy. I bless those whom I love. I have been preparing you for myself. I have chosen you for knowing me better feeling more deeply how much I do love you, and for understanding what a marvelous purpose I have in store for your life. My blessings are abundant and extend to your family, to the young and the old, to those yet to be born, and to those who in their old age will come to seek me. I am still touching the hearts of those who never seek me, those who do not realize that it is I touching their hearts to guide their steps to bring them closer to me. They need only to keep praying, asking, crying out. I love you so much that I will bless you and your family. Tell me now that you believe in me and stop worrying. Receive my peace. Keep your calm, all your worries, 
leave them at my feet. Seek my kingdom, put me first in your life, and all the good and beautiful things you desire will be added to you. You will lack nothing. This is prosperity, this is blessing. Every morning, wake up and give thanks. Commit your life to who alone can help you. I will send people. I will intervene and settle many things. But hope not in any but me alone. Love me with all thine heart, with all thine mind, with all thine time, with all thine energies. Let me at all times be thine first thought in thy plans and thy cares. Spare me one moment in the morning, spare me one brief minute before sleep. Bend thy knees and pour out thine heart. There are so many things that I am able to do and I want to. I have so many plans for your family and for you. I need from you faith, your hope. Your faith is the certainty of things which you can't see yet. If you can believe, then there are no limits. All good things can happen within my will if they are for your good. So if I say it, so it is. If you believe it, receive blessings that take you into prosperity, that protect your heart from falling, that clothe your soul with humility, and take true and everlasting blessings for which you are supposed to search. Do not seek temporal things that won't profit your future. Keep your concentration on that which is going to edify you toward eternity, for your family, your spiritual life. Anxiety, I'll say it again, quit worrying, take my peace, guard your soul, leave all your cares in my hands. I'm in control of everything, trust this, live it, cheer up your face, put on your prettiest smile and open your arms to many new blessings that are arriving in your life. Share with the people whom you love that you're expecting a miracle, that soon everybody will be encouraged. It shall be well. Let me today lead you to green pastures, guide you beside the still waters. Let me take off the yokes that burden your shoulders. Spend just one moment of your precious time with me, and I will raise you from the many things worrying you. My heart's greatest desire is to turn your challenges into blessings and replace your tears with joy. I am so elated by your daily search for me, and thus your praises reflect and show appreciation for how much I have helped you. You might have been defeated if I wasn't right beside you. Open your eyes and realize the trials I put before you as expressions of my love. You might have gone through deserts, but I was with you. Notice this fact. Just as I have rescued you from past afflictions, I am going to do it again. I am not going to let any man take the blessings that are due to you from you. Be comforted in the middle of your storm. In your cries to me, your prayers, I battled your giants and won. My spirit has kept your heart pure and empowered you to stand where you felt helpless, gave you courage to stand where you felt unable. In your sufferings, I was providing the grace to endure. You know what it is to love deep, deep down, for you are deeply loved, chosen, and treasured. The depth of my commitment to showing you my love, day by day, is unshakable. Today, then, I want you to open your heart to me fully, letting my presence be the very foundation of your life. Behold, Bauer, this change, at your doorstep lies a life full of supernatural wonders. Let me promise you, if only you would allow me to guide you every day, all those barriers will fall, those chains will break loose, and amazing things will happen. Never in your life, by any stretch of imagination, shall I lead you astray. The glorious future is in front of you. I am breathing new life into your heart. In lush pastures, nobody can bring you defeat, for I will be your shepherd. Enemies shall not smite, nor any evil come near thee, for I will satisfy all your needs. My love for you is unchanging and manifested variously. You shall have signs of my abiding love. I speak that thy spirit be lifted up. Not that I would see thy spirit in despair or defeated by adversity. Hear me, let not the skepticism of men confine your potential or your spirit. Remember the greatness of your dreams, for I have instilled noble aspirations within you. Others, at times, may judge by appearances and let rumors or envy mislead them. But I see your heart 
your pure intentions, your resolve to be better. Your thirst for change in your life, to follow your dreams, is evident. Now it's the time to act and trust in your omnipotent God's voice. Arise and begin thy journey. Do it for your family, the ones you love so much. You must believe in my word. Be bold and industrious, persistent until you have reached your destination. And then, when you are there, you will see your heart full of even greater joy to know that believing in my word and striving for a better life was indeed worth it. Always I have told you, and again I repeat it, many are the blessings that await you if you decide to trust in your Heavenly Father. It is with this large love, affection, I am speaking today, but take care of your soul. Today, I implore you not to believe those people who try to steal the dreams of people who love me. Be not friends with men whose aim is to deceive thee with lies. Do not walk after them. Open not thy soul to them and pay no attention to their false words. Seek me and pray. Begin to do my will. Open thine eyes, and I shall soon bring out a wonderful blessing, a divine opportunity. Remember, I love thee. Changes are coming forth in thy life. Be not afraid. I have a plan for you. I am taking you into a place and level where I want to bless you abundantly with full hands. Is it not natural that doubts arise in your mind whenever new challenges face you? It is wise to seek my presence and consult with me when such doubts rise. Seek help as to what you need in order to face these incomprehensible circumstances. My word shall be with you, and at each break of day, peace, serenity, and happiness. I will open your eyes to find in every situation which puts you in difficulties the answer you seek. I will guide you in the way of exit so you might not remain there. You only stop when you move, fight, walk, work, and believe in your heart for my promises to come to pass. I've forgiven your sins. Dearest, pass on this inspiration to a soul in need, and let my presence bring them comfort through you. You are clean and righteous in my presence, doubt not. Do not despise the value of my blood. Shed on that cross and in my mighty resurrection. This is why you live. It is by the power of my blood that you, fearless, stand in my presence. Today, therefore, you have relationship with me. If I died for you, if I rose from the dead so you might live, then I can and will do all the things I have promised you. By my power, by my love, I have made you more than a conqueror. Neither the enemy nor adversities, problems, or difficulties are able to rip from you what I am bestowing upon you. I have confirmed with my own blood that nothing and no one can ever take you away from my hands. I implore you to trust me this day. I wipe away your tears, drive away your apprehensions, and illuminate your fears. I shall arm you with ways of coping with this new life that comes into your life with excitement. I have shown unto thee my love towards thee, my readiness to bless thee. Thou too hast trust in me. Let it be engraved in mind, for I, your God, am more powerful than all your miseries against you. I urge you to suck out the fear in your soul and face all these situations boldly. I know you are going through tough circumstances, as it seems. I hear your private cries in which you have said that you are tired of it all, that you don't care anymore that you don't want to live. But I'm imploring you to listen carefully now, to make a decision this very hour that will greatly affect your life, to go in search of me, to believe me, to confirm your decisions. Then to follow and obey isn't cumbersome. I promise you the result of your obedience will be peace, and the fruit of your faith, patience and serenity. If you cleave to my word, if you put my commandments in practice, None can shame you. Behold how your enemies flee, seeing how I have screened you. They will never again throw slanders on you nor lies against you. I will be with you both day and night, protecting you from all deceptions. I, therefore, entreat you, remove every doubt from your minds and observe strictly my commandments. For it is my word that shall be your strength, healing to your souls and restoration to your bodies. 
say goodbye to stressed out, tensed, nervous lives, and all the things which instill in your heart's fear. My power is enough. My love for you is great. This is the final new chapter of your life, where you will be free from those nagging emotions that have pestered you, and depression shall not take dominion anymore. Just the thought of how peaceful your life will be elates my heart with a smile. I shall work great wonders in you, in your life, in your finances, and in your household. Just let my peace reign, worry no more. Trust in my promise. Nothing can stand in the way of the enemy and my will and might. Do not be afraid of diseases, for I am the highest of all authorities over them. Stretch out and I will reach you to heal you. My plans for you cannot be altered. I am seeking your victory, and therefore, I will certainly prosper you abundantly and bless you. Come toward me in trust without wavering, voicing your utmost longings with assurance that I shall never fail you. I want your life to thrive in every way as much as I want your soul to grow stronger and deeper in knowing me. My child, my blessing to you, may your life be full of endless happiness and peace, that the faith in your heart may be so strong and bright that nothing shall ever make you afraid. So when hard times come, as they will, and worry tries to weigh upon you, stop for just a moment and let these words touch your heart, I love you. I am here to fill your days with peaceful, happy, encouraging experiences. And with the passing of days, your inner peace and strength shall remain unmoved. Life circumstances may alter, but I am unchangeable in my presence and love toward you. My love for you now is the pledge of my love that will last throughout all eternity. Mine is the merciful grace that shall forever be thine. Yea, I beseech thee, walk with confidence in every pass. Never lose faith. The flame I have lit within you will most certainly survive the storms of life. Your love will not grow dim in due time. Rest and be assured of great love. See how I talk to you day by day, to let you know the blessings that are in store for you. Guard a thankful heart, for it is a key to more blessings, which I will lovingly shower on you. Amen. Be still, my child, and hear me as I pour out the rain, which symbolizes my blessings resting on you when it is rainy. Rain portrays adversity and prosperity in your life, asterisk. Know that in the time you faced adversity, darkness was within you. Through shattered dreams, you grew weary and despaired over the years. But this I say, this is my year of favor, when my promises to you are going to come to pass. For my word is my bond, have I said and shall it not come to pass? Stand strong in the race which has been prepared for you. Do not let go the vision I has given to you. The fulfillment of it may seem overdue, but it shall not come to naught. At my appointed time, you shall see my purposes for your life come to pass. Many of you right now are lost, thinking that the dreams in your heart are just too good to be true. But I tell you that vision, that hope, that idea that you carry, it is from me. Just quiet down your heart before me so that you can hear those encouraging, gentle whispers of mine. But don't allow the lies of the enemy or the busyness in life to drown my voice. Behold, I make a way for you to clear out all that clutters life from you, which also sets stumbling stones for you to bear good fruit. And these are not about striving in your own strength until depletion takes place. No, this is your year, month, and minute of my favor towards you. When I favor you, it is not to be given as a gift with strings attached. All that I require of you in return is your trust and obedience. You fought the good fight of faith and tended through the trials. Even at your weakest, you asked for me to renew your strength and increase your faith. Now, my word that has taken root in your heart springs forth. You will shift from listening to prophetic words over your life to stepping into their fulfillment and seeing the manifestation of those words. Just begin to watch for what you will begin to see in the scene observable fulfillment of my prophetic word will increase, literally, exponentially, my promise-keeping character to ignite your hope. Some in this room need to turn away from relationships and family divisions that are poisoning them, 
so healing and restoration can come. Be sure that I am sending my spirit to heal the broken places and renew the family ties that have been severed. I am turning the hearts of parents and children toward one another in reconciled relationship. I am bringing unity, restoration, and maturity. My children, you badly need rest, space to breathe, to receive from me. Be still and see the wonders of my creation. Let the beauty of nature nourish your soul. Quiet your anxious thoughts. As you drive, listen for my voice gently guiding you in the way you should go. We are crossing over into a new season of promise together. I am sparking an expectancy inside of you because you shall see my promises fall into place quickly in the days to come. Some of you have lost hope year after year that maybe your dreams could coalesce into reality. Hope is not wishful thinking as to, according to what you can see. Hope is an assured confidence and expectant anticipation of what I said, anchored in who I am and in the power of my word. When your state seems hopeless and dead, hope breathes into a person like an anchor that holds the ship steady in the tempest. Hope moors one through storms. I am pouring out my spirit to drench your thirsty, dry soul until you overflow. These words shall suddenly burst into life and take shape before your very eyes, calling forth the things which at this time are not yet seen. That which seems impossible in your ability is already done in my power. I will hasten things rapidly from this day forward, redeeming lost time and broken dreams. The enemy will come to steal this promise from you. Guard it well. Send forth my word, which goes out and never comes back without doing its work. Expect revelatory shock and awe, for I am uncovering mysteries and unlocking truth that has been elusive for years. The visions and dreams I am stirring within you are filled with glimpses of your future. Fix your spiritual eyes on them. Where there is no vision and no hope in me, my people grow weak, but I am restoring to you vision and hope in this hour. Be led into truth that sets you free by the Holy Spirit from the bonds of the past. Receive new direction, strategies, and resources to equip you to victory. Thank me in advance for the abundance I'm already pouring out upon you. Be let loose into your life now, even on the account that I am a God given to superabundant favor and blessing. I am the good father who delights in taking care of his children. Yes, I will comfort you and supply your needs. But because always without fail, I will do so. That's my character and my commitment to you. Believe it within the next few days, for you shall see with your own two eyes my promises come alive right before you. You will move from finally getting by day to day, barely hanging on, to overflowing with life in the destiny to which I called you. You have been set apart and appointed for such a time as this. Your latter days shall be far greater in every way than your former. Even if storms howl, Recall that I have authority over every storm. Let me rebuke both winds and waves in person for your protection until the fullness of time, until it protects your harvest. Be at peace and trust. Put your gaze on my outstretched hand to lift you up rather than the choppy waves. Permit me to guide your steps according to the vision I have placed within you. For those who desire to start a family, I will open your womb and bless you with children of your own. For those believing me for provision to start new kingdom business endeavors, step out in faith knowing I will go with you. You already possess all you need for the victories ahead. The trials that you have gone through now are the cradle of very treasures, which I am birthing through your life upon the scene of this new era of fulfillment. Rejoice that the years the locusts have eaten shall now give place to abundant harvest, even towards one given the capacity to contain it, pressed down and running over as you are able to ask or think. The future is all bright and beautiful. Walk forward in calm expectancy of all that is to come. You have only to trust and obey. I know the battles you have fought and the obstacles set before you, but I will show you divine strategies to overcome. As you listen to my voice, I will give you the wisdom you need when you need it in courtrooms, in business dealings, and in family relationships. My wisdom is yours for the asking, because my spirit lives inside you and makes you one with my mind and thoughts. 
I am your counselor equipped with solutions for whatever challenge you will ever face. Ask of me heavenly strategies, custom designed to help you defeat every enemy, including the enemies of fear and unbelief that war against your mind. I have raised up my word in you as a standard against the schemes of the devil. Use the sword of truth I have put in your hands. It will dismantle citadels of lies and release prisoners into freedom. When you feel overwhelmed, when you feel the task too great or that you are too inexperienced, remember it is not you but my spirit in you who gives you power and ability. All you need to do is yield to my spirit. Take confidence in the fact that I dwell within you. Rely on me. Rest in me. The battle is mine. The day is won as I go before you into the battle. Abide in me by my word and prayer. Keep in fellowship with men of like faith, who shall undergird and encourage you. Avoid carefully isolation and self-sufficiency, for they beget nakedness of soul. My people are about you to help strengthen your stakes and lengthen your cords. We were created for relationship, never for isolation. Together, victory belongs to us. No lone soldier wins. I will be glorified in your life. Power from heaven will be released through you, carrying my presence to the darkest places along the earth. My light, my love transforms. Partnership with me elicits true success. And I don't measure success by the scales of this world, but by faithfulness your willingness to trust me and obey me one day at a time. Together, we will do great and mighty works for my kingdom. You need only walk where I lead each step of the journey. Your harvest in life correlates directly to that which you sow. If you have sown seeds of selfishness and self-preservation, then your harvest is going to be very bare. But if you sow selfless generosity, you will reap abundance. Even in times of lack, Give what little you have and watch what happens. When you honor me with your first fruits, I promise to pour out blessing without measure in return. Your seed produces a harvest 30, 60, even 100 times what was sown. You can never outgive me. Test me in this way, my child. Let go of whatever is currently in your hands into the hands of others. Put money, emotion, and spiritual investment into their lives just as I have invested in you. Where your treasure is, there your heart follows. Turn your heart toward treasure in heaven by giving earthly resources to eternal souls around you. The ripple effects of transformation will not only change destinies, transform communities, and fuel kingdom movements, but will, of course, always begin with the generous seeds you sow. Believe that I am able to do exceedingly above all you ask or think according to the power at work within you. With me, nothing shall be impossible. Arise in courage and confidence, mighty and steadfast. Great victories lie ahead. Dear beloved, pause for a moment and lend your ear to my words. Imagine that I hold your heart gently in my hands. There's no need to fear, for I understand your deepest feelings. I see that you've grown weary from confusion and troubles, but I want you to trust me, for your freedom is drawing near. I'm going to mend your emotions, soothe your jaws, and lift whatever weight there is on your shoulders. Let me wash away that anxiety in your mind and give ease to your thoughts now. I will give you patience to hold on to my promises while I work, liberating you from hardships. Note that it is not for nothing that the harvest has a process. I can't give this great victory over to you in an instance. But know this, your life is beginning to be changed. From this day on, you will see the heavy burdens be lifted up. You will be asked to be differently treated, misunderstandings will be cleared, and positions will be moved. I am giving to you a freshened life, rejuvenating the happiness that was once in your heart, I love you beyond doubt, that is a fact. I am here to rescue you from your situation, but I won't stop there. I'll also transform your finances, your health, and your family situation. I will open your eyes to the blessings you already have. I've placed you in a position to discover new opportunities, and if with faith you seek, you shall find. Why? 
because I want you to spread that wealth so you can have pity on my daughters and sons who go through hunger, persecution, danger, and tribulation. I want you to bless those in distant lands who have been restricted from being able to hear and speak about my word. And as you listen and grow your faith, remember that people go through afflictions you cannot quite understand. My precious child, subscribe and join those who seek my truth, so together we may grow in love and inspiration through my words. I'm going to strengthen you so that at their sufferings and tribulations, you may have pity upon them and mercy for those who sometimes feel they have fallen and failed me. I have come to save, elevate, forgive sins, and embrace with power and mercy whoever turns toward me in repentance for his misdeeds. I've always known that no one in the world is perfect. All have sinned and strayed from me. But I offer you the power of my shed blood to reconcile and save you. I did not come to condemn or punish anyone. I do not seek the destruction of those I love. Please go and tell those you meet on your path. I'm waiting for them. But now, Hearken to this mission, for it is for this that I am delivering you from the hand of your enemies and raising you up from the pit of affliction. But more than that, I am changing your mourning clothes into joy and your wounds, those that tormented you with pain, into healing. So listen to the voice, sense my words deep inside your heart, and receive grace that caresses your soul. For consider that I have not dealt with you according to your evil deeds. I've wrapped you in endless grace. I've forgotten your misdeeds. I have hurled them into the depths of the sea. Now, I want you to embrace my forgiveness, all of it, once and for all, so that you no longer continue to revisit your past. Don't be concerned with what people think. They didn't give you life, feed you, or keep you alive. Give them no such right to control how you feel, to sway your emotions, or to shape your life. Nobody in this world loves you as much as I do. Nobody gives you mercy or forgiveness. Remember the times when you were so shattered that nobody gave a hand to you. From now on, give me your attention and eagerly receive the words which I offer to you. Keep them close. Treasure them. Hold dear. Remember them when the storms of life rage and you feel battered by the waves. Know that I am the captain of your ship. And despite all that you see around, you shall not sink. If ever you are deep in waters, I will lovingly pull you out, intending that you also believe in the value I see in you. You are not a mistake. I knew you before you were born and loved you and gave you a name. You are mine, my child. No one can snatch you out of the hand of love from the holy hand. I came so you might have life, the abundant life with happiness and joy. I will give you what you need to multiply with your blessings and prosper in the middle of global conflict. Now, share this message of unconditional love with all those who need to hear it in their lives. Listen to me once more. Return tomorrow. I'll be waiting right here to bless you and embrace you with pure love and sincere affection. Tell me that you love me too. The time for your victories has come. Give me your hand. You are worthy. I want to bless you surround you with grace and dignity, lift you up, and bless you before all those who dishonored you. I open for you the windows and doors of heaven to greatly prosper. Receive this refreshing word to your soul. My Holy Spirit breathes life into your heart. My power shall destroy your troubles forever. Come under my wings whenever you are troubled and too tired to stand. In this whole world, there is no one who can give you pure, unselfish love. I want nothing of your worldly possessions. I am not flattered by big gifts. I protect and care for you just because I love you. And no matter what happens, I will be there to see you through. I speak now with you, from heart to heart, in the very language you understand and feel deep inside. I want to express my deepest wish. May you increase in strength and capacity for your own good, but more so that you become beacons of hope to mainly the vulnerable amongst us. I pray that you may nurture your mind and prosperity to a point where you can provide for those in need. Take a leap of faith with me into a world where miracles happen. Reach out your hand to those in sickness, 
and let them be healed through your touch. I want you to live lives that are free of financial burdens, to earn your living in dignity, free from debts. You are not created to become a slave of your creditors. Anytime you come across someone in distress, trust in yourself to make a difference. Speak my word, shatter chains that bind them, and pray for their freedom. When you give to those in need, I'll multiply your efforts manifold. As you step into this supernatural world, get ready to witness miracles and use the authority I grant you to stand against adversity. Pray daily, seek wisdom in my presence, and open your Bible. Drink from the book of Proverbs and the Psalms. Let those words become a part of you, etched upon your heart. I long for you to feed your soul with my word every day, discovering new wisdom and marveling at the lives of faith led by my servants. Observe the signs of the times, but do not argue about my promises. Trust me instead. Stretch a hand with sincere love towards the poor. Come here regularly and listen to me. I forgave your failings and let you free. No curse and no evil habits are on you henceforth. I give you holy freedom, wisdom, and supernatural intelligence. Even in times when you have nowhere else to turn to and feel helpless, deep inside your heart, know that I am with you through every step. That which hurt you in the past will do no harm while in my presence. Herein do freedom, peace, tranquility, and blessings lie. Allow me to transform and renew your life. Keep growing in your loyalty and faith. Place your trust in my love. Give me your heart and concentrate on my ways. Listen to the love that my inner voice is whispering to you. On these days of not wanting to pray or talk to me, even then know that I will still come to knock at the door of your heart, to extend my hand to bring peace to your soul. My blessed peace surrounds your home and my angels keep watch over every corner. Receive this, you are no longer slave to fear. The great and exultant things you desire to do for me, for you shall do. You shall do even greater because I concur in ascent from my throne in heaven. Don't be afraid of success and don't be ashamed of your victories. Your glory moment has come. You have truly deserved all of them with your faithfulness. It is time to come into my presence and let me pour out the blessings that I have in store for you. Confess that you believe it is I, not a hard task. Silence for a moment when it does not go like you plan, and still, I can hear you. Just give me a couple moments alone. Shut your room's doors and remember, I am your shepherd. Friend, I am here to comfort you in times of conflict. I know that life has become complex and its challenges burden your spirit. But surely, I love you. Feel the warmth of that love sweep away thoughts of defeat. You may feel like you are losing your confidence right about this time, but in no time at all, you will realize that is not so. Just close your eyes, be still, and let me touch your spirit and calm your soul. I command the storms in your life to cease and wait for the waters to still. Your boat will not sink. Lay your head on my shoulder, close your eyes, and find rest. I am not angry with you when you lose your patience. And I understand. I have to show mercy when you think you have failed and turned you down at that time when you felt far and full of mistakes. And I will continue standing by your side, waiting for your heart to find peace. Now, clear your mind of all those thoughts that trouble you. Let not worry be about things you don't have or about dispelling all the troubles around you but allow me to fill in all the void in your heart. Trust in me, the way forward, we will find it. And I want you to know something. These words you hear, they fill you with incredible, unbreakable joy. The promises you hear, they cocoon you from head to toe in peace. I am pouring out a holy oil upon you, anointing you for character with light, for beauty. I have made you strong to arise and go forth. Speak to me concerning your thoughts and beliefs. I am not the faraway God. I am not the hidden one up there in the heavens, wrathful and vindictive. Remember the new covenant. If you've given your life to me, I am writing my laws on your heart. Guide you in the ways of truth. I do not make you look for my answer under every rock. I am here to listen, to answer, to bless you. 
We share an intimate bond of love, and my promise to you is that I will give you a supernatural inheritance during this life. May you experience the genuine, not beautiful wonders here on this earth. I tell you, believe in me, let go of all the stories and sufferings around you. Fix yourself, live in the now, pay attention to your loved ones, and lose yourself in things that make your soul happy. You look after your own business. I'm already at work on you. You can smell that so much is changing. So I beg of you, please don't get bogged down with stuff that doesn't lift your spirit. Keep pushing up, be brave. And the word will cause so many thoughts and ideas in your head, but do not be derailed. Just come to me in the morning, in the evening, any time that you can. Spend just a bit of time, open up your Bible, but you have to read with patience. And if you want to, the deep revelation will be given to you. The words are powerful of the new covenant. The words, the letters you read, will do so much within your life. I want you to find out how those who followed me were smitten in heart. They waited in prayer, as they did in that upper room, until the gift of my Holy Spirit was given to them. Flames of fire settled upon their heads. They lifted their hands to heaven, speaking my word in different tongues. What glory on that early day, but it should be the same on today's event. I must be able to confer supernatural power upon your life like I did with my first servants. They faced pain and persecutions, yet my spirit sprang upon their life. There were great works of miracles, healing the sick, cleansing the lepers, returning the sight to the blind, filling people with joy. I now work in you to experience that kind of colossal joy today. I want to anoint you to pray, equipped with great miracles for your life. Put your desires before me and take this blessing. Get ready to feel and to realize that the love for you from me is supernatural. Your solution, the key to banish your despair and regain your faith and trust is here. Read these through your heart. Calm yourself and allow them to fill your soul. Feel how they inscribe there forever your strength, will to fight, and to live, and your dreams for a brighter future. My word is living, it creates, chases away darkness, heals, cleanses, erases all the wrong beliefs that have hurt you, opens the eye of your soul to a new light shining through darkness that fills you with hope. Precious child, if my words have touched you, let your heart respond by liking this message, for I am with you always. You need motivation, and your heart, I am already igniting. You will be as alive as you were those years when your youth all afire was with dreams and beautiful aspirations. You will return to your first love, just as you did the day you first met me. You will be as light as that servant running to the mountaintop, never growing weary. Your faith and the way you think will be much stronger, much better than before. In my supernatural kingdom, in this realm, despair has no place. I know you are human. You grow weary, but that day you will know what to do. You will return to my embrace. Behold, I come to feed you, to quench your thirst and give rest to all anxiety and unrest. The pain of guilt which pierces shall pass. I bled under the lashes, tortured, bore upon my back a cross while man laughed at me, yet not knowing what I was doing. I suffered, died, and rose again for you, saving you from eternal death giving you wisdom, and shaping you to be a warrior. Come into the peace of soul, deepening inwardly, of security, that I, your God, your Father, and dearest friend, am the same creator of the universe. With such faith and confidence, rise up at dawn every morning with enthusiasm and faith. My child, I love you. And to let you know this is really I speaking to you, very soon you will have a big sign of my love and my power. Just leave this day in my hands, and trust. These doors shall open, and this storm will pass by. Victory shall come, and with that, your blessings shall arrive. It is never too late to stop now. It is the time for overcoming. I give you that strength and wisdom for circumventing this period of struggle which is weighing you down. I will cover you under my wings where the enemy cannot reach you. 
I will lift you up and comfort you in my love. Where you are weary, I am filling you with anticipation and a hope which shall enfold you in courage and energy. I'm going to turn your whole life around, and that is what I'm going to do. Listen closely to what I have to say, my son, my daughter. Though you may not fully understand why or how you came into the world, be certain that it was for something valuable, powerful, and most important, to fulfill the dreams I have given you, to do great things. You are no accident of luck or chance. This is my decree to create you and place you in this world to be a source of blessing to yourself and others. Strengthen your faith, lift up your head. Just for a moment, I want you to smile. Remember those moments when you were afraid that you could not endure? Yet here you go, smarter, stronger, and wiser. I chose you. I know sometimes you make mistakes and forget the times that I've been right beside you. But what you should know is, I picked you for some great things. I want you to be a respectable, blessed, and successful person. I want you to sow seeds of love so that someday you may reap abundant fruits of joy and prosperity. I have given you in you the gifts of love, forgiveness, and a heart that can help others. I want you to express my love in actions, touching the lives and hearts of many with your hands. I am increasing your faith to new heights, experiences you've never known. If need be, I myself will remind you daily to keep your eyes on me. I will let you know my will and my word in various ways. Fear not because I am with you to assist. Do not lose heart, for I have loved thee. Trust in me, go on ahead, because I am with thee, and thou shalt be filled with courage, and it shall be from this day on, thou shalt see miracles and blessings. I'm your shepherd, you shall lack nothing. My love for you is immeasurable, and help is but a prayer away. May each and every morning be one where you rise to seek after me and be enabled to guide you to peaceful pastures. Just as I give you the living waters that bring calm, I infuse a desire to live, to keep pressing forward, never to give up on your dreams. Believe my word today, deep in your soul. Believe in your abilities to rise above challenging circumstances and diseases. Be victorious in any situation, no matter how difficult, and no peace amidst all negativity. You can do all of this because I am the one giving you the strength, unyielding character, and faith unshaken to stand up against adversity and chase a better future. Your acts, decisions to open up your heart to me as your God and Lord, are very important. The enemy may stand in your way, but pray to me before you begin your projects. Commit your life to me. Give me full control for I am going to lead you purposefully. Leave your matters to me, and I will take care of you. You will be well off and succeed in all of your good deeds. Many dreams have gone unfulfilled because of fear, and many goals remained unattained because you have thought you could not reach them. But now, on this new day, I give you the wisdom to structure your life and priorities. I empower you to set big goals that will surprise even your own family because I do wonders inside of you. Fill your mind with my word and watch the metamorphosis of your spirit and heart. Trust me to know that you can come to me freely, especially when you are so tired, on cloudy days with disturbing doubts, on your darkest nights, and in those times of stress. My Holy Spirit is always listening, ready to act. Where your faith in my response to you and your will in mine I will ever guide you into paths of real abundance, peace, and prosperity. Tell it to yourself with all your heart and soul. You are a strong, core, wise, and bold one who is bound to win whatever you do. You shall be victorious in the battle of your life, so never let go. Not even if it seems like your entire world is falling apart. You are not to fear, for I am with you to defend and stand with you till the very end but I know there are those who would seek to rob from you, trample all over, and destroy your joy, and it shall be in vain. For I have given unto you a spirit devoid of fear and able to stand before any test. It is I who strengthens you and gives you wisdom. Bow your knees. Humble your soul each day before you go out into the fray of the day, 
and I will prepare the way for you, clearing, breaking, and removing from before you. Everything will be all right, and when you tire, I shall grant you rest. To all of you I shall give good health and new strength, so that, from that gifted morn, you shall rise, knowing that you have been victorious. Be assured that my grace shall always be with you, and my love shall be yours eternally. Accept this gift of love and new strength, which I am lifting you today. Believe in yourself and find the courage to win this battle and any other battle one has to fight. I will take that which you feel is a disadvantage and turn it into a great strength, with determination for the conquest. I am erasing all depression and feelings of inferiority that have held you back in the past. I am healing you from your anxiousness that doubt and fear have clouded your mind with, keeping you awake. It is time for you to live a life of quality and happiness. Today, I am holding your hand and leading you. Today, I will show you how powerful you are, more than what you think. So when I hug you into my arms today, I just want to say you're going to be capable of attaining all those beautiful dreams you've carried in your heart. I am forming you to be a warrior who conquers his battles. Yes, you can do it because my spirit dwells within you, and my angels are by your side. Then forward all the impetus of hope and courage, because victory, with its countless rich rewards, waits for you. Say with the full loud voice and soul of you that you believe this. You are strong, wise, and brave. You will surely triumph in all you do. You are not a loser, helpless, or cowardly with fear. It will be a shield, the words I speak to you. Be strengthened in your arms where you grasp your sword, and ready to face the battles that lead to victory. The enemy may want to intimidate you through shouts and threats. Of course, in the past, you might have been paralyzed by fear and held in dread, but everything changes from today on because you are hearing these words from me directly. Words you won't ever forget as soon as you've heard them. Grant my wish and see the sight of yourself. You are so deeply loved and so greatly brave. You're not like the rest who shy away from their battles. You are strong and you are different. Walk in determination as well as confidence. For with my love and power, you need no more to overcome. You do not have to wait years when the light of faith and the call to rise and claim your happiness come to you. This is the day of transformation. I am with you at every step. This is a special day, and I want you to feel that my love and blessings are always with you. I extend my hand to you, inviting you to take confident steps forward. Knock, for I open the door of opportunity. Fall upon this new life with unbreakable determination and faith. I have destined a life full of joy, peace, happiness, and prosperity for you. It is my promise, eternal, to be fulfilled without fail, for I am truly God, your Lord, and I know what I am doing. My will is unshakable, nor relent even though they plot to harm you or lead you astray, because they shall not prosper. Do not be swayed by the lies and doubts they throw at you. I am your Heavenly Father who watches over you night and day, and I am the one who guides your ways. Now, when anxiety comes knocking on your door, remember those lines and proclaim, I am my Almighty God's. I will not give up, for none can defeat me. I walk hand in hand with him in the path of righteousness, and I shall not go back. Never forget that you are mine, and the timing for any good toward you and your family is under my control. When persecutions, afflictions, ups, and downs arise, be sure that all things work together for good. It is in my hands that your future is, and I will manage the conflicts and difficulties you face. You have labored harder, and you have grown wiser as I got a job for you and an assignment you had to fulfill. Your love towards me and your likings of doing my will never go unnoticed. I forgive the errors of your past, and I want you to rise after your falls to come back to me with confidence. If you think you are weak, I will grant you strength. If you believe that you have lost your faith, then close your eyes and think of me. Your faith is still within you. You are here, which shows that you love me. And you are elbowing through, 
which shows you believe in me. All the good things promised to you will be yours. You will live to see them all fulfilled. Arose, my good man, my hero of faith, and confront your enemies, illnesses, and fears of lack in my powerful name. Jesus loves you and blesses you with things that run out never. Precious child, let your heart draw near to me. Click join and become part of a fellowship where my teachings guide and my love surrounds. Together, we will grow in grace, nurturing the faith that binds us. I know you have so many plans and dreams. You are responsible and industrious. Success awaits if you will only trust in me, seek me daily, and act according to the direction which comes from my word. I am ready to show you how to build your dreams on a firm foundation. Your family, too, will find their foundation, my will and my counsel. This is not too much to ask of you. I just want you to focus your attention on things of real value and not spend time and energies running after fantasies and trifles. In addition, your relationship with me means a lot. Do not break the tie with me. I am always waiting for the moment you listen to me in silence, as I really want to talk with you. You have grown so much, and your strength has increased. Your dreams please me, and I have been pleased by the effort you have made so far. I want to bless you much more. Doubt no more, you are in the appointed time and place. You are ready for the opening of doors that I promise to open for you. Go, knock at each one boldly. Keep your eyes open when difficulties arise, for behind them lie the lands of blessing. These are the blessings that belong to the fearless, those who believe in themselves enough to dismiss threats and words of failure. Recall that I formed you, blew my life into you, and gave you great power and authority. If you will not act because you do not believe mine words, but rather hearken to false counsel your careless friends have given you, that is a different thing. I require from you faith if I am to prosper further. You must believe without a shadow of doubt that I do love you, that I am real, and that it is my will to love and bless you. Tell me that you believe. Amen. My child, come and rest yourself before me. Lay down your burdens and open your weary heart to the words of comfort and healing from my mouth. I see the sadness in your eyes, the desperate grip on your very soul. The path has been long, troubles manifold. Do not fear, for I never left you. I have been with you through every trial and sorrow. My hand has upheld you, even since the days of your ignorance. And now deliverance is nigh. The chains that hold you in thrall will drop away from you. The blindfolds that have been on your eyes will be opened wide. Things hidden away from you now will shine with great light in front of you. No longer, my child. Look around with despair, for liberty is near at hand. My face shall be light in your life, transforming every situation. Where there had been barrenness, fruitfulness shall break out in bursts. Where there was lack, abundance shall overflow. The oil of my spirit will sustain you while entering into the destiny that I have been preparing for you from the foundations of the earth. Yet, such a victory shall not all come at once. Slowly, no, it will dawn slowly, gradually. The way the harvest has to develop, the tender shoot first, then budding flow, fruit that ripens. Be patient, trust my timing. I know precisely what you need and when you need it. Even now, changes are afoot. Heavy burdens feel lighter. Fractured relationships mend. Doors closed will crack open, for I am making all things new in your life. Broken places are going to be restored. Fires of passion and purpose that have grown dim will be rekindled. And my extravagant love toward you knows no bounds. You are the apple of my eye, the jewel in my crown, my precious treasure. I'll always love you for an unshaken love not measured nor confined. Remember this, my beloved, through the storms that try and be in awe of my awaited wonders. Beyond your liberation, I also heal life circumstances for you. Your health renewed, your family restored, your finances met with abundance. Blessings you never imagined will catch up to you. 
Open your eyes and see that I have set before you. Gifts lie everywhere, all around. Gifts waiting for you to unwrap. I'm positioning you for increase on every side, making opportunities available that you would never imagine. Step out in faith to discover them. Dare to believe that my promises are true and my storehouse is full. Ask me for the nations as your inheritance and I will give them gladly. I am building you into a mighty tower. I am making you a channel of my miraculous provision, not by earthly might or power, but by my spirit, over the dark, and waking hearts up to my lavish love. Many shall be astounded at my glorious intervention on your behalf, and your enlarging capacity shall become a showcase of my goodness to attract multitudes more into my family. For I am still in the business of reconciling wayward sons and daughters unto myself. My heart breaks over my children wandering in this famine of spirit. I never give up seeking after my lost ones. Go, tell those bruised souls, here comes my haste to meet them, outstretching the arms of return. Tell their ears my words of tenderness, at the door I stand to welcome you, robed and ringed again as my children dear. No matter how far they have strayed down crooked paths into deep wilderness, still I wait, yearning for their homecoming. Each man and each woman has gone astray from my ways, some more grievously than others, but all have fallen short. That is why I came in the flesh, to seek and to save what was lost, to absorb in my own body the wages of sin, to reconcile my erring children to myself for eternity. For whoever believes shall not perish but inherit eternal life. So receive this cleansing once for all. Stop straining at what you can never hope to attain through your puny effort. Run to me when you fall. My mercy seat stands open. The fountain never stops flowing. Drink deeply and refresh your parched soul. For I am not going to deal with you according to your sins. I am choosing to remember them no more. They are washed away. I relate to you now through the lens of my grace alone. And from that place of acceptance, I call you into walking in the fullness of your renewed identity as my precious son, my beautiful daughter. Have you been listening, my beloved, receiving this word into your inward parts? Let it sink down deeply, watering the seeds of faith I have planted in you. For behold, I am raising you up to be an oak tree in whose shade many can find relief from the blistering heat of life. I'm going to fashion in you stick with it liveness. How to hope hard right in the face of impossible odds. Indeed, I myself shall graft heaven's power into the soil of your humanness until by second nature miracles flow out like sap rising in spring. And I will enrich your mind, deepening your discernment of the times, that you may guide others through confusing days. Study the scriptures, commit them to memory for strength, pray without ceasing. Stay ever near the sound of my voice, so you always know which way to go, which path to take. Learn wisdom and how to apply knowledge rightly. But most of all, be humble, having confidence in me above personal intellect, for my thoughts are higher than yours, as the heavens are greater than the earth. Bring to me all your most baffling quandaries. The counselor breathes into those who wait upon him secrets that solve a situation. Draw peace from the well of my presence when anxiety threatens on every side. I remain an anchor for your soul when everything seems adrift. Most important, develop a lavish generosity of spirit by giving to those in need, not just money and goods, but time, attention, and affection. Reach out to the overlooked and forgotten with my heart of compassion pounding within you. Touch their wounds with healing in my name. Liberate captives from myriad prisons by the power of my word. As you water others, I, in turn, will reign abundantly upon your own life. Resist the flesh that would drive you to selfishness, hoarding my blessings for your own benefit alone. Lay down earthly security if you would gain eternal rewards. Give freely what I have freely given. In so doing, much fruit will accrue to your account, fruit that withstands the fire and goes with you into eternity. For selfless generosity outpours rivers of resurrection life to recipient and giver alike. Lavish love multiplies as liberally in faith. Again, 
I urge you, shed humility that masks bondage to lack. Let go of fears about poverty in the future, which imprison what is available for distribution today. Do you not see my storehouses ever full to overflowing? Have I not promised to meet every need from heaven's limitless supply? Take me at my word, beloved. Walk in confident trust that your commission precedes provision. You no longer have to be subject to the cruel economic realities of the world. Transfer your citizenship to my kingdom, where all debts are paid in full and where resurrection life swallows up death-dealing want. Cross over into abundant existence and watch miracles multiply through willing hands. Never forget, the battle belongs to me. Ultimately, your struggles show off my mighty deliverance in the theater. The size of your crisis measures the potential display of my glory when I show up as deliverer. So lift high the standard of praise even amid swirling uncertainties. Pound spear and shield with bold declarations of my faithfulness. My goodness. Worship dissolves dread into awe-filled surrender and clears the atmosphere from the fog of despair. From this altar of adoration, I rise up to rout your enemies and break the teeth of deception, uncoil constricting lies. Invite angel armies into your fray with songs. They race to champion those whose voices testify of me. Envelop yourself within the sacred music that opens the portals of heaven. March to melodies of freedom until strongholds crumble. Yes, my precious one, believe abundantly in my triumph on your behalf. You are the apple of my eye, yes, even the center of my heart on the earth. I eternally invested in your complete redemption. Forget it not, the cross stands in execution as a signed and sealed pledge of my covenant loyalty, my stalwart commitment to your thriving. I betrothed you to me for all eternity in eternal loving kindness. Now, let that truth sink into the very bones of your being. You are victorious in me. No weapon formed against you shall prosper because I am your hedge. No curse can light upon the ears for which I mean blessing. Every sickness is under your command for my healing balm that gets poured through you. Lack and poverty in the sight of my bounteous provision made manifest in your life. Sorrow itself turns on its heels when my joy wells up from deep inside of you. Shout with joy, my dear. Dance in elation for the blessings about to overtake you. Jubilee arrives on weighty winds, debts canceled, slaves freed into new identity. Redemption roars mightily on your behalf. Captives liberated, inheritances restored. All that was lost or stolen now returned a hundredfold. Your mouth soon sings astonished praise in the place of lament. Go ahead and rejoice before you see manifest evidence. Open house, open home to the unexpected visitor. Be prepared to throw open your homes to harvest festivals with the poor and marginalized. You are invited to my feast. Drag along deaf and dumb neighbors if they can't hear invitation nor ask directions for themselves. Interpret for the foreigner. Teach signs to the illiterate. Guide the blind. For I am appointing you ambassador to proclaim that my reign is upon you. The day of the Lord's favor has come. My dear one, my beloved, Share this message with a soul in need of encouragement. Together, let's lift up those who are weary. Feel my presence surround you within a warm embrace. Feel restful and assured that it is an absolutely safe place. In your very soul's silence, feel me speak ever so gently. My spirit brings comforting peace into your very core, filling you with the reminder that this moment is deeply holy. As I speak, Allow my voice to wash over you and soak into the depths of your essence. Listen to hear, not with the mind, but the wisdom of the heart. Life has weighed heavily upon you perhaps of late. Storms and shadows of perhaps, and times when it seemed that weariness seeped into your bones. You were born a fighter, my child, even talent to the trials. You have kept the faith, a light within, and shall I not honor thee for that? Your trust cheers me, your dare, my spirit. For a space of stillness follows, which is, as it were, a breathing space in a tempest, this pause between storm ebbs. In the stillness of the storm, darkness retreats but to advance downwards. The very air seems to palpitate with it. Do you scent it? 
My love, your hour of triumph is near. Great blessings are going to be showered. The outlook, sweet child of mine, is all one gleaming hope. Fear not this future of plenty. You are worthy of every good gift entering your life. Your days and nights of shaping a vision of light unveiled this destiny. Great victories seldom arise out of the blue. Dear sheep, they are sown from tears and struggles, planted in the fertile ground of faith. Yours have been hard-earned but make their way no less sweet. This reward is just for all that you have survived with unbroken spirit. How dark are the sinister plots and schemes put to steal away happiness from the unsuspecting. And yet its ugly attempts smash like glass against your armor of faith in me. You held on to our connection, never letting go of the rope, even when violence surged furious as a storm. Holding fast to loving refuge saved you, beloved. If you had given in to desolation's bitter call, breaking our tie, how much more deep the grief was the loss of life my heart would have been. But you held to me as one childishly shy holds to its father. We fought with the storm as one. What courage you showed, my love. What great wells of bravery. Thine unwavering trust in my presence carried thee through the darkest night. And now the much desired turning comes. The ice melts, the flowers bloom. For it is during this in-between time that you do stand between darkness and light, between winter of the spirit and spring's new beginning. Have you seen rainbows after the rain? When every drop of rain lights up like a jeweled pendant glistening in its radiance? So, too, shall miracles appear through the sorry which already is gone. Thy sorry. Raise your eyes to the horizon, my dear, and gaze upon the very first, tender rays of destiny that are dawning to light up the landscape. The roseate light speaks of great beauty that is soon to be revealed along your path. It comes gently, discreetly, but do not be mistaken, the new dawn is breaking. This renaissance also serves as a time of rest and restoration for battle-worn souls. As the storms raged, you did not cease your efforts to shield the inner light from the storm clouds of darkness. But even the staunchest heart does eventually just grow tired when battered by the never-ending, pounding barrage of adversity. My precious one, let this time of stillness cool your spirit, balm unseen wounds, and soothe remaining tensions hidden down deep. Getting back after the hands of long experience with tough going isn't much unlike a slow waking up after an illness. You have to take back your strength bit by bit, and it does take patience with self. There should be no shame in needing to rebuild depleted reserves, in taking time as equilibrium is regained. Enduring turbulence often exacts unseen costs upon foundations, eroding those sturdy pillars until everything crumbles. Thus. Reparative attention must go into infusing new life into cracked structures. So rest, beloved. Make serenity your priority amid this calm. So, when at last it is time for forward progress, you will be able to rise with poise and renew, like a single flower quickened with the sun. At this time, pause frequently to calm frantic thoughts and come back into my living intimacy with you. Nothing accomplished is so holy that we require to ready for a sacred hour. Rather, sit and be in contemplative silence until nothing more is needed. For one to stand at this point as one would stand by a bubbling brook, letting its soft, musical voice enter the soul. In time, our energies will coil around, and with a leap, take off into infinity. This union begets profound peace. My lamb, imagine being held in arms of love under a starlit night. Visualize my voice from the heavens, filling your head with courage and strength. Let these words seep through your mind. Fear not, precious child. Do I, the never-failing shepherd, still walk beside you? Meditate on the comfort this promise inspires. We thus travel together, dear soul, your steps glimmering in my light. Haven't I shown myself again and again? I was, though the world whirled mad and the outlook dark. Still a faithful guide through fires that should have consumed hope's delicate tendril in its prime. Together, we nourish that budding flower until, at last, it blossomed in full, 
And here we are on the shore at sunrise, weary maybe, but marvelously integral. What does the dawn show you, my love? What wonders light up the sky? This little space between night and day reveals to you, if only you would stop moving for a second, all through the whispers of the moments passing. But all you hear is the shushing of time, the previews of destiny as it unravels. Be sensitive to subtle intuition. Let the revelation come in due time, more naturally. Do not grab too eagerly at these tender bits or they will retreat. Guidance comes softly over time, through flashes of insight, unwarded nudges, sudden noticing of something heretofore overlooked. Revelations don't consist of loud, demanding directives, but in gentler, multidimensional promptings. Tune within to interpret their symbolic language. Permit understanding to incubate within your soul's sanctuary. And so, in these quiet moments of communion, I infuse your consciousness with strength, love, and unwavering faith. My lamb, in coming years, hast thou sat early and seen the tranquil lakes, when all around them is at rest, and their smooth surface like a burnished mirror reflects the beauty of the rising sun. Hast thou then beheld those depths apparently warmed to golden life by the reflected splendor of ascending day? Thus, my child, do I now dip thee into paternal light, and thy spirit into blessing to preserve it from all future storms. Raise thy countenance, dear child, and let cheerful hope surge through thy soul. For the delayed period at length comes to go forward courageously beyond past woes, yet still patience is a paramount virtue. My soul, courage must temper eager expectation, lest ambition, like saplings too soon exposed to harsh elements, overreach. Tender dreams wither without proper preparations in place. So I say, Ba, make haste slowly, precious heart. Wait upon mine timing, trust in mine infinite vision to reveal the next direction when appropriate. Exercising eager restraint now prevents much grief later. Have you seen young birds tentative before first flight, hopping tentatively along branches, flapping experimental wings while parents observe? Thus I oversee this pivotal transition in your journey, my fledgling. In time you shall soar majestically through skies now barely imagined. Attempting ascent prematurely courts calamity rather than freedom. Therefore, Attend to securing inner stability before external busyness resumes. Establish rest, reflection rhythms, and mindfulness for heightened perception and a closer connection to intuitive wisdom within. Prolonged strain has shaken the foundations and, of course, adversity's crucible will expose the vulnerabilities to be shored up. Know this, little one, it is not from outer wild strivings that triumph is born but from the quiet transformation within. Develop inward vistas and find their destiny, seeds waiting to bloom with patience and faith. Stilled in silence is a peace so deep, way beyond the mortal speech or thought. I cannot reunify its crux nor describe this state of simple greatness, yet truth in sacred silence reveals itself quite unbidden. Hence, still your mind, dear one, and gentle perception. Let go of tightened muscles, let loose madly dancing tensions within your body. Slow each breath until inhales and exhales move smooth as silk. Thus, fast does physical relaxation breed openness and clarity of soul, a lucid serenity wherein our spirits commune. How much joy does such unity bring, dear one? Soul speaks to soul, heart speaks to heart, across dimensions. The fearful veil flees the light of love. Darkness disperses. Confusion clarifies into calm, entering on quiet feet. Time slows, then stills, anguish recedes into memory. Presence alone remains real. No words for this, my love, no way to put into words the magic alive in every moment. Yet I avow to you its reality all the same. Our oneness resides at the seed of your soul, an ineradicable bond that even death cannot sever. Abide in this truth. Let its comfort anchor you firm through all that may come. Storm surges batter foundations, wind whipping waves to reveal any weakness, but built upon bedrock, houses resist the furious gale. So too, 
your innermost self, that holy of holies that contains your shining soul, none of the forces of death can stand against. Everything I have built up in you, dear one, so look to the future without fear. Now you wear my strength, male of courage, with sturdy shoes and a fair shield wall locked about your spirit by fierce love. None of your foes gets through this bastion, precious heart, in your soul, you're safe. Thus, I will say again, to use newer wisdom, bolder when evil comes, as it will. You are changed already, loved one, transfigured by past journeys. That self which your eyes now meet, confronted with darkness the first time with tremulous heart, sees no more. In you I have lit a holy, valorous fire, lit in mortal clay by heaven's breathing. Let it burn on through troubles yet in store. Meet each enemy thus, when first his shadow falls. But make not of the void vain lattice to entrap vain panic. Turmoil breeds turmoil, fear fans fears wildfire. But meet turmoil with faith's unyielding valor. Use me as your shield against whirling shadows. Root your heart in our bond of love and strength. You will see troubles diminish in the window of eternity. Yes, all these will pass. Stand firm upon my promises, and the light of hope will overwhelm the darkness. Darkness will not have the last word. Naturally, you may always flee into my sheltering wings, dear Lamb. Whenever you are beset by adversity, cry out, and I shall quickly enfold you close. Yet do not make it a dwelling place, beloved. Then visit for a while, gain perspective in divine presence, and rise anew for the next leg of destiny's journey. Then walk in courage toward shimmering horizons now visible upon your path. Linger too long in comfort's harbor, and storms descend, unravel with trial. In my power, then cower feckless while trouble bruises. Hardship has been your school of crisis management, and now those same honed skills shall overcome all that threatens to block your way. Turn back now in broad-eyed view the peaks conquered thus far, dearly loved child. Still standing, battered now and then, though never broken, you stand. The might of faith proved the gentle deliverance through fiery coals unscathed. Such power assembles itself within you still, all heaven's might arrayed for your help. You need nothing, dear heart, to face whatever may come, whenever it may come. Dear one, if this message has moved you, express your love for me by liking it, for I cherish your every act of faith. Head boldly forward, within reach, victory with arms guided and guarded by mine own. How much wonder lies beyond the rim, lo, destiny draws near, my dear, a gallant steed in full career as the scenery slowly shifts from dim gloom to brilliant day. So possibilities swirl in this new dawn like leaves upon a zephyr's breath. The very air appears to be alive with scarcely held in check possibility, filaments of light that pledge wonders yet to come. Do you sense the wings of hope stirring just out of sight? Swallow this pregnant loveliness deep within your being, O oh, precious babe. Your moment of destiny's sublime beauty has come. Temper your eagerness with restraints, my darling, for over-anxiousness will destroy even the best-laid plans. Eager overzealousness will cause you to blunder where with wisdom a more cautious pace would surely have given success. Yet patience softly sows the seeds of greatness upon the horizon of expectancy. Therefore temper the impatience with forbearance, and let divine wisdom light the following steps with bright lines. Restrain the impulse to dash headlong in pursuit of a long-held dream. Finding too quickly could tip over the whole dream with overbalancing ambition. This is all in the timing, my soul. So trust my supernatural perception as to when and how to move forward in a way that truly is effective toward the goal. My sight stretches over past, present, and future at once. Submit to this greater perspective and adapt as needed. Have you ever seen fledglings trying their first flight? They flap, land, try it all over again when the wind throws them off. Or they find out they don't have coordination. Your path will be like this, coming about with patience, sticking with it, then resting and starting over again. 
pay attention when wind from the day bucks too hard. Come in, gather your bearings, and try it all over again each turn. Thus, through this, the ability to stay in the air longer and longer until, one fine day, effortless becomes the flight. Then, oh then, my love, no ends can be placed upon the heights ably reached by one well-schooled in me within my radiant light. Therefore do not worry about the supposed postponement of dreams, my sweet lamb. All does work together for great fruitage in my perfect timing. But raw clay must spin patiently upon the potter's wheel before it shall come forth resplendent, a finished vessel. Let destiny's shaping hands mold you thus, without resistance that so frequently makes their added pressures necessary. Yield fully to my design for your life, beloved. Live delightfully within my plans. Then the life which I draw from within you shall indeed be a shining marvel for my glory. Yea, even now, in the east, the filaments of new light unroll upon the landscape as whispered hints of coming dawn, preludes to illuminate the onward path where lies the destiny. Beloved, do you see them, that rosy filaments foretelling the sun's arrival? The new day fast approaches. Prepare your heart, therefore are for that which I shall reveal. The adventure continues, precious soul. Our walk winds forward, through seasons still cloaked but far more beautiful for storms faced together. Whatever shall come, cling to this truth. Never will I forsake you, my love. My promises stand firm, my presence stays close, holding and lifting through whatever shades light or dark. Believe in me, and we shall get over the veils as we climb the hills to rise up to that grand horizon of destiny. Go in peace, my child. We travel as one. Lose not your heart. O oh, my dear child, neither get upset. For I am with you, really. Believe in me, go ahead boldly. For I am practically with you for everything. To fill you with courage. From henceforth, blessings and miracles for you receive, which shall be performed through me. I shall be your shepherd and I will lead and provide that for you to be left in want of nothing. My love to thee has no end in the universe and to aid thee, my power is never far. Every morn new, I hope that you will come before me in prayer and my wisdom to light your way you will seek. Dearest, pass on this inspiration to a soul in need and let my presence bring them comfort through you. Amen.